ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video of the salt gamer live studio here back at it yet again i gotta be dragged out of my time of playing some games and just enjoying myself and relaxing i just want to sit back i wanted to chill you know you know summer is about to be coming towards the end we got a few little warm days we're creeping into september some big games is going to be starting to launch very soon which i'm excited for right you know i got stalker 2 on the mind right now that's on the plate it's a few couple of months away because the, the delay from september going into november but that's okay that's fine I can wait as long as I can. I, I can. I don't mind waiting. I just. I will much rather just when the game comes out and it's completely done. I'm gonna sit down and play the game and enjoy it with a big old smile on my face, because I've been waiting for that game for a very, 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 very long time, and I'm very excited for that game. And there's other games that I'm also excited to play as well, like Indiana Jones. Right? You know, we got what black ops 6 right you know and i'm playing starfield right now currently and i can't wait for the dlc for starfield but no today we gotta come on here because these playstation slash xbox fanboys are just getting out of control and we got youtubers that are acting like some goddamn grifters on this stuff it, this is insane this is stupid it's retarded it's like, oh, why? Why? Why do I have to keep going through the same shit over and over and over again? It's retarded. But anyway, let's get started with the video because, again, we're not here to stay for a short time. We're not here to stay for a very long time. I will hope not, okay? For me, I just want to talk all my shit and let everything out and get right through this video so that I can go back and enjoy my gaming and the rest of my stuff that I wanted to do. So anyways, let's get started with the video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and let's start off with Cream Cast Guy Face with yet again another video of him keep on saying that the Xbox console is dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's this. It's that. Xbox is not going anywhere. It is not dead. How many videos does Dreamcast guy be making that Xbox is dead? Dead? One to too many. It's just one to too many. Why is everybody keep talking about Xbox? Leave Xbox alone. They're fine. Just leave them the fuck alone. Focus on fucking PlayStation right now because they're not doing so fucking good right now. And then everybody trying to sit here, trying to smell their own fucking farts, acting like, man, PlayStation is doing amazing, there's this and that, and all this little shit, don't worry, we got Dreamcast guy, we got fucking even Kid Smooth, and last but not least, Dark Doc. I'm gonna drag that motherfucker down in the mud so fucking bad, oh, I can't wait to get to him. I cannot wait to get to him, and that's our main event before we close out the video. But let's start off with Dreamcast guy here, because he got a lot to say that, man, yo, the console war is over, yo, with your delusional fucking console war fucking nonsense, nobody gives a fuck. Let me tell all you YouTuber grifters out here that want to come on here and do this shit for a hobby and all this bullshit and saying some fucking nonsense. Let me make this one thing fucking clear. This console war shit and this nonsense is fucking garbage. Nobody cares. I don't care. This person don't fucking care. Nobody cares. You know what we care about? Let me tell you something. A real fucking gamer, what we care about the most is the games. Okay? The games that are coming out and releasing to the platforms okay doesn't matter if it's on xbox doesn't matter if it's on playstation doesn't matter if it's on pc all we care about is the games okay games not consoles consoles allow you to play these fucking games because without the console you wouldn't be able to play the fucking game so where would you play these games at if you didn't have a fucking console where, how are you going to be playing these games? Oh, let me guess. You're going to play it on Twitter. And let me guess. You're going to play it on YouTube. Because it's going to be a big black blank fucking screen. That you can't even get your fucking hands on it. Or you're going to see a dev playing it. While you should be fucking playing the game. Right? Am I right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're all on the same fucking page here. Because that's what a real gamer does. Than a fucking grifter that be like sitting here complaining and crying and bitching about some console war fucking nonsense. Like, who cares? Who sells more? Who sells less? 
This is ret it's retarded. Like this whole shit is dead. The whole exclusive shit doesn't even matter anymore at this point. All I care about is what games are being developed and being put onto these platforms. That's what we should be caring about. The games. The games that I'm going to be playing, that I'm going to be purchasing for fucking $70. That's where I should be more worried about. Let's get let's get let's get on with this fucking video. Let's hear what he, this, this is man got to say. Series X. I still remember actually buying mine for you. And thank God I put it on two times speed because honestly, I don't want to hear his slow ass to be talking about some bullshit. But you can see him holding up now, not the controller this time. He holding up the Xbox. He got an Xbox in his hand holding it like a fucking baby, like a baby grail. Like, why would you do this? Why do you need to hold up an Xbox for like? Okay, we get it. You got an Xbox. That doesn't mean, bitch, you play fucking games because we haven't seen you post up any gameplay video whatsoever. All we see is snippets and little shorts and cuts. At least my fucking channel that people subscribe to, you can see two, three, four, fucking five hours of fucking gameplay of my fucking shit. That's why I got the rights to fucking come here on this fucking thing and do a soft video and talk shit about y'all because y'all ain't no motherfucking gamers. Y'all just fucking grifter, just like Dreamcast guy is a goddamn grifter wearing a Dreamcast guy hat on when holding up the Xbox Series X console. What does this have to prove? This doesn't prove shit to me, but okay. Years ago, let uh, me hear they you. didn't have pre-orders set up at GameStop, so I ended up sitting outside the store in the cold for five hours before they opened with a bunch of whoopee the fuck do wow xbox fans are ready to play halo infinite people actually saying how much gears of war and forza and fable in i have to skip some of this shit because like again this is him just showing off some bullshit their lives and like it's interesting to think like this is this is what he does is like oh look at this power of your dreams eh. oh come on man i'm tired of this bullshit bro just play the fucking games bro how about that? Like, what the fuck? What, what, is this, what does this have to prove to anything? Think about how now, four years later, PlayStation is bigger than ever, and Xbox... PlayStation is bigger than ever? PlayStation is bigger than ever? Do you not hear this fucking man? This man said PlayStation is bigger than ever. Bigger than ever. Let me go down here for a minute. Let's see the fucking roadmap. I the only the only the only one that has a fucking roadmap is fucking Xbox. Where is PlayStation fucking roadmap? Oh, nowhere in sight. But they're bigger than ever, right? So he claims. Oh, so let me let me guess. Oh, he's bigger than ever. All right, let's let's see how Concord doing. That's the biggest game right now, right? Oh, 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 those, that's that's a big number right there, right? Six hundred and ninety-seven. That's the peak of it. That's this is even lower. Then the open beta. The open beta has two thousand and some odd players. This is day. This is launching day one. This is like what day going on day two. And this is the this is the this is the players right here. This is the player numbers right now currently. And you can even look at Splitgate. Look at Splitgate over here. This launch. This is a free to play game. And this is not even all that. And yet, look at the peak number for this one. 67,000 peak player and look and it's doing the same numbers right now from three years ago that now they're doing similar numbers side by side but look at the peak look at this this is this is not even in in beta this is open this is like officially launch this is the peak number this is what this is what it is so basically split gate is out fucking smoking your dumb ass by a mile like it's uh, yo what the fuck <laughs> bro Bro, but PlayStation doing bigger than ever. Yeah, I'm excited for this fucking game, right? Ready, you guys? Oh man. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for this fucking game. That I don't give a fuck about. Just like how I don't give a fuck about Hi-Fi Rush. I don't give a shit about that game. I don't give a fuck about fucking even Sea of Thieves. But yet, Sea of Thieves is outselling and is outplaying than fucking what? Concord. Is getting out smoke an Xbox title game on a PlayStation 5 platform Sea of Thieves that I don't give a fuck about let me make this clear to you crystal I don't give a fuck about that game I don't like the game I don't ever care about the game and yet that game 
is getting outsmoked by Conquer. PlayStation is bigger than ever. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop smoking some crack, yo. Y'all, y'all gotta stop smoking that crack. It's just dead. Now, I want to talk about this today because I think it's there's dead. something uh -huh. kind of sad about what's currently going on. A lot of the biggest Xbox fans, the content creators, the... You know what's sad is? You know what the saddest part is? The fact that PlayStation is even more sadder than anything else. Oh, well, PlayStation... PlayStation is, you know, it's good. No, PlayStation is fucking sad with that whole Bungie situation. That's it's that's sad. That that really hurts me. Like how the fact that you that they can't they that studio by itself has stepped on so many fucking rakes and they got mismanagement issues and stuff like that. Sony steps in, comes in here saying all this, this, and that buying this buying they they will much rather listen to that studio and buy that studio than oh my god when when we get there I'm, I'm i'm telling you right now this this i i can't like i i don't know what the fuck are they smoking these these motherfucking ponies are smoking some fucking crack they are smoking the good crack the passionate developers and stuff there's been just so much negativity and pessimism i think i understand yeah negativity and pessimism around your fucking bullshit because you're you're the perfect example and there's many other people out there just like you these fucking youtuber grifters these wannabe so-called gamers that sits there and say we play games i review get all this bullshit marlin gaming right all these fucking fake ass playstation fanboys these wannabe gamers, all you motherfuckers is spreading around some pessimist, whatever, and you're not even talking about your own platform. You're talking about fucking Xbox. What about PlayStation? What they're doing? You, you ain't talking about Concord. I don't see you playing Concord. Oh, Concord is Dooku. Next. What about you go hard on PlayStation and say, look, PlayStation fans don't want to play this type of garbage. They don't want to play this type of garbage. They want to play these games. Where is Mag? Where is fucking Killzone? Where is Factions? Where are gate? Where are these multiplayer games that PlayStation fans been begging for a long ass time to play? These motherfuckers on here, and and, and even on the Xbox fanboys, they want me to give up my Xbox to go jump over to fucking. PlayStation. Let's say, let's say hypothetically, because I only have a PC. I only got a PC, and that's it. I got rid of my console since Xbox One generation. Let's just say hypothetically, I don't have a PC, right? Hypothetically, and let's say my PC is garbage. Let's say it's just a laptop, right? Just to upload videos and whatever content. It's not even the best. So they want me that if I own, if I have an Xbox right now. They want me to give up my fucking Xbox, trade that shit in, and go out there and, and play on PlayStation 5 right now, and they don't even have any of these fucking multiplayers that you're looking in front of you. They don't even have Mag. They don't even have Killzone multiplayer. Faction multiplayer been canceled by who? By fucking Bungie. And Bungie's in deep shit. But Sony PlayStation want to listen to Bungie saying fuck faction. They don't want to play that game. They they want to play Concord. Let's look at the Concord numbers. Look, 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 look. Concord. Right here. Splitgate. This this had more players playing that shit day one in the peak current players. This one is from three years ago, and they're getting out smoked by and this is Concord. This is the peak players. They want me to fucking sell sell my Xbox to play fucking Concord? What I'm gonna play? Oh well, you know, you can play Call of Duty and stuff like that and da 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 da. Okay, I mean, that's on every platform. What what game do what game do they have that is going to convince me to go get a PlayStation 5? What game what game could I convince somebody to get a PlayStation 5? What game? Cause it ain't gonna be fucking Concord, and you damn sure believe that it ain't gonna be fucking Astrobot. It ain't gonna be this fucking game. I can promise you that. 
it ain't going to be this game. What if somebody look at this fucking game and say, man, you know, you know, if somebody told me like, man, you know, I was thinking about getting me a PlayStation Five, man. You you know what games I I can I can I could be looking forward to right now coming up this year, this year, not last year, this year. Um, well, that Concord game, yo, that that looks fire, bro. That looks awesome. Really? That Concord looks fucking garbage. I don't know what you talk about. Uh, it doesn't look good. I've been playing Seven Days to Die. I mean, that that looks better than than even this game. Okay, how is there any other game? Oh, oh, the Astrobot game is coming out. That that looks cool. It's a platformer, right? You know, like whatever. Okay, like yeah, this looks cool, but I'm I'm not I'm, I'm looking for it's like some multiplayer games like that could really like bring it home or something like some something like aggressive like you know where where's like. What about factions on uh, multiplayer? I heard about that. Is that coming? Oh yeah, you know PlayStation canceled that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, what? They canceled that? Wow. Who can't? Who said? Who came? Yeah, it was Bungie. Bungie? Bungie told told Naughty Dog to cancel factions multiplayer. Damn, bro, that's crazy, bro. I heard a lot of my friends. They was at at, at the school in my college. Yo, they was they was really talking about that game, bro. Mm. Mm -mm. This is the garbage that they want me to play. They want me to play this fucking trash. They want me to play this trash. Understand why people enjoy cheering on Xbox. There's a lot of psychology <sighs> that's well studied. It's written about in books like David Eagleman's Incognito. What does psychology has to do with anything about fucking gaming? You know, and stuff about how the human mind, it loves the underdog stories. There's something so interesting about the person that shouldn't win. We're we're really we're really comparing this shit with fucking books now. You are really doing this console war fucking nonsense, and you're bringing it up, fucking books and psychology. Meanwhile, I have just pointed out a few fucking things was wrong with the PlayStation fucking platform that they're missing games like this, and they don't want to play fucking Concord trash. Do, do I have to put up a video for that shit? Hold on, let me let me do this shit real quick, bro. Because this shit really does piss me the fuck off. The fact that... The fact that they fucking got me over here with this bullshit, bro. Man, I'm... Bruh. Hold on for a minute. Let me separate this for a minute. All right, let me separate this for a minute. Uh, let me separate this for a minute, cause I this this right here is just unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Let me let me go get a tab open here. Let me put this shit in here, bro. Is this this is this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable for real. I'm not even joking with you. Like this is this is really is unacceptable. Let me let me type this shit in. Hold on, let me put this up here. I'm gonna put this right here. Let, let's put up. Let's put up a uh, Concord multiplayer. Cause I, I got to. I, I got to. I gotta. I gotta put a side by side to this. This is ridiculous. We're going from this game down here below to this. Better yet, you know what? No, 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 no. Let me let me put this in the other box because I I gotta put that in the other box. Put a PlayStation Three title right here. We we going from here. Let me do this. Separate the tabs, right? And then I'm gonna put this one right over here because I, I I gotta do this. I gotta do this. We we going from here to here. This is insane. Look at this shit. Let me put this tab right here next to this one. 
We're going from here to here. Man, this is this is insane. Look at this. Two games side by side right here. Side by side. I I, I gotta I gotta show this. I gotta fucking show this. I got to. Because this is we went from 12 years ago. 12 fucking years ago. This is mag. This is what people was like, damn, this is pretty fun. This is cool. Whatever this is this is a game that gets people excited. We went from here to now. This is a month ago. This is the trailer for Concord. It's out right now. This is the multiplayer we're dealing with. You can you can see you can see it for yourself. You can see that, oh, Mac looks so much fun. It looks so much cool. Got some whatever. Concord. Look, look, it it's like, what the fuck? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are you fucking talking about? What are you smoking, bro? Look at this. Killzone. Killzone looks better than fucking Concord. This is... Boy, let 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 me let me not breathe. And, and we're talk and we're talking about psychology. Actually fighting back, David versus oh, Goliath, God. the weaker team winning the Super Bowl, stuff like that. So I've always thought that a lot of the Xbox fanboys, it is because of that. It's that they want to defeat big bad Sony. Yeah, okay, PlayStation's got more console sales and more exclusives, and it's taken over Metacritic and stuff like that. But Xbox does have games. Xbox is about to be awesome. All you Sony ponies will be. Okay, so you just said Xbox got games, which they do, because they're actually right here on the fucking list. You can see the games right here. They got games. They have games. We've been crying about, I think, what? Xbox fanboy has been crying about this shit from Xbox One generation. They saying, look, we want better games and we want games to play. They giving it to you. Is every game on here that I'm going to play? No, but they giving me games that I'm definitely looking forward to. Look, Indiana Jones, Black Ops 6, Stalker 2 is coming out this year. Which is not even on this list, which it should be on this list, right? Age of Mythology. You got Avow. Uh, well, Avow got pushed back to 2025. That's fine. But I got one, two, and what? Stalker 2 and Starfield. Starfield got their DLC coming out. So I got three, four games that I'm looking forward to to playing this coming year. Three to four. I'm I'm Gucci with that. Three to four is more than enough. I'm I'm good. And then I got little games here and there. Cool. I'll get take a little game over here, play a little this, play a little that. What in the fuck? Like, not every game on this list is going to be for me. Just like this. Every gamer has their own different thing. And that's fine. If you like Hi-Fi Rush and you like the game, enjoy the fucking game. It's already on your platform. Just play it and enjoy it. Fuck everybody else on fucking YouTube and these fucking grifters. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's the, fucking this dude doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Fucking play the games and enjoy him. But my point stands that where is the fuck is the roadmap for PlayStation 5? Where is that? I, I don't see no fucking roadmap for PlayStation. All I see is Xbox roadmap. Where's PlayStation? <sighs> Bro, crying whenever we get our this. next big game. But now, Xbox is going third party. Every game that's currently being made by Microsoft is also coming. <sighs> oh my. Indiana Jones is a licensed IP that owns by fucking Disney. Why would PlayStation gives a fuck about Indiana Jones while they already have Uncharted? They already have Uncharted. But here's my question. Where's Uncharted 5? We haven't even heard a, 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 a peep, a whisper, not a fucking leak, nothing. Not even a trailer. We haven't even heard nothing about Uncharted 5. Nothing on that PlayStation. We're talking about PlayStation. Where's Uncharted 5? Where's those announcements? So you telling me that they put all their eggs in one fucking basket in that fucking factions multiplayer that fucking Bungie is fucking going under and laying off fucking people and they about to get fucking owned and get absorbed by fucking PlayStation 
and they they're the ones who was calling the shots and say yeah cancel that fucking factions multiplayer they don't want that here give them this garbage get them concord give them this fucking garbage give them this garbage game give them this give them give them these little kitty fucking bullshit games that nobody gives a fuck about give them this give them this trash don't don't give them the give them give them concord give them this game give let them play this game this game that looks fucking look like an abomination give them this don't give them mag no oh, no 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 that's too that that right there that right there is not for modern audience this is the modern audience Con concord concord that's what gamers really love to play that's what gamers really want to play they want to play this game no 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 not not mag not mag not 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 kill zone not kill zone no 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 that's too much that's too that's way way too violent you you know the 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 political landscape of this fucking you know in the gaming stuff and the politics like they're not gonna like this game they're gonna you're gonna get that backlash you're gonna get those uh palestinians you know they're gonna be on your ass you know so i suggest you know you should just put out a a really safe really safe game a hero shooter and it should be able to pull in some numbers like it's gonna pull in a really big numbers then Killzone. Killzone is not gonna pull in no numbers. Oh no 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 no! Don't worry about Killzone. Killzone ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm. Killzone ain't gonna do it. This this right here. This is gonna pull in some numbers. Watch. Yes, it may be six hundred and something peak player, but over time the numbers will grow. We're gonna see it go up to a thousand. We're gonna see it to go up to two three thousand. We're gonna see it go up. Why is it not going up? This. I am sick. I am sick and tired of this of this type of garbage. I'm sick and tired of this garbage. I remember a long time ago that we didn't praise fucking games like this. We didn't praise fucking games like fucking Astrobot trash. We didn't praise game for Concord. We didn't praise games for fucking Hi-Fi Rush or anything like that. We praise games for mature rated fucking games. Games that actually is worth a fucking damn. That is worth a damn. Not, not this, not this, not this. This is not it, Chief. This, this right here, this right here ain't it, Chief. It ain't it. Kill zone. This is what they want to play. They want to play something like this. Oh my god. We're gonna get. We're gonna get to him in a minute to playstation to pc and a lot of them are either going to come to nintendo switch and i th oh and you know what's funny he said he said that oh they're they're, they're going third party what the fuck are you even talking xbox putting games on the pc right we can all agree they got they putting games on steam and they putting it on here they already got an app and you can rent these games or you can buy these games and I have brought games on here. You know who else is going to be doing it too? Real fucking soon? Real fucking soon? Oh yeah, that's PlayStation. They're doing the same shit too. They're porting games over to where? To Steam. On the PC platform. They're doing the same shit. What in the fuck are you talking about? Do, do I have to? What? Bro, all I got to do is just type in this. PlayStation Studios, right? This is PlayStation, right? That's their logo. There's Concord. That's releasing today. And it's out right now for $40. And guess what? Look, 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 what, look what else is coming. God of War Ragnarok is coming up, coming on there. Helldivers is already on here. Look. That's coming. This is whatever. Bro, I think it's already. Is it here already? Nope, that's September 19th. So it is coming. Ghost of Tsushima, Lego, Lego Horizon. That's going to be coming on the Nintendo Switch. And it's coming to PlayStation and it's coming to PC. Look, it's right here. Look at, look at all these games right here. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2 is going to be coming on here too. Uncharted. I wouldn't be surprised the Uncharted collection, like 1, 2, and 3 is going to be coming on today. Bro, they porting games over to the PC. What are you talking about? Oh my god, yo. 
what are you talking about? Like, they, they porting games over to the PC. I think a lot of people are very much talking about either leaving the industry, selling their system and giving up, or going PC, or jumping over to Team PlayStation. And I want to discuss this today because... Why would you want to go to Team PlayStation? <laughs> that shit is fucking trash right now. They don't even have games. They don't even have a roadmap. They don't have nothing. They only put in out two measly fucking games. Concord and, and fucking Astrobot this year. Yeah, I should just jump over to PlayStation because of whatever. Like, are you fucking serious? Because I think their betrayal, their disappointment, I think it's all very valid. And I want to take a look at it. Their betrayal and their valid... Like, again, I don't give a fuck what Phil Spencer said. Phil Spencer is not my fucking daddy. Phil Spencer ain't your fucking uncle. Phil Spencer don't pay your fucking bills. Just like Jim Ryan lied and said some shit too. I believe in generations. That's what Jim Ryan said. He believes in generation and they still porting games over to where? Onto the PlayStation 4 platform. While we're four years into the PlayStation 5 cycle. We're four years into the PlayStation 5 cycle, and they're still porting games over to the PlayStation 4. He believes in generations. That's a lie. He believes in, oh, oh, that power of the SSD, blah, 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 all this bullshit. No matter what side you step on, these CEOs are there to do fucking business. But here's the deal at the end of the day. I'm a consumer and a customer. All I should be really caring about is what? Is the fucking video games. What games are they putting out onto my platform that I'm going to continue to support and play? Because I tell you one thing, nobody's not going to jump ship and go straight over here for fucking Astrobot and Concord. Are you fucking serious? But look at the PlayStation, the PlayStation, all those titles are going to PC. Hello? And they already been ported to the PlayStation 4. That's why you see a lot of PlayStation 4 fans are still holding on to the PlayStation 4. They're not even jumping over to the PlayStation 5. If PlayStation 5 line up and their games was that fucking good, they would have been left the PlayStation 4. They would have been left that shit a long time ago. They would have said, yeah, I'm done. I can, I can go to PlayStation 5. They got some games. I'm going to play it. Cool. They would have been did that. They haven't done that. Why? Swear. Get it? Because this is not a mocking standpoint. I do think that if you saved up and bought something like an Xbox, you actually preached the goodness of Game Pass. Watching this all blow up, I understand your uh. frustrations. But let's take a look at some sad tweets and kind of just discuss this whole mess. I hope you're. We're still we're still going on with these sad little tweets and stuff like that. You know what's sad? We know what's sad about this whole entire video that the fact that. He's sitting here saying about console war, Xbox is dead, and all this fucking other bullshit. But yeah, he's not talking about PlayStation and the fucking problems that they have right now in terms of their online multiplayer fucking games. And their single player games right now. Oh, oops, I, did I say that? Yes. They got fucking problems with single player games too. Like, this is ridiculous. It, it, you, you're putting out these couple of garbage... This, this is not good. Rise of Ronin was a fucking fail. Fucking, you see Square Enix is pulling out of fucking PlayStation. They're they're sitting there saying, We're, we haven't even made any type of money whatsoever with Final Fantasy Rebirth, nor their Final Fantasy 16. They didn't make any money. So right now, they are doing what? They're porting games over to the PC. They're porting games over to where? To other platforms as well. So they can do what? They need to make money. Square Enix is in the business of making money just as just as much as everybody else. And if they're not making money on a only exclusively on the PlayStation 5 platform, what are they what do you think they're going to do? They're gonna go move they're gonna go put their fucking games everywhere so they can make that fucking money. Just like how PlayStation is doing right now, porting games over to where? To PC. Because if you guys was enough, right? If you guys said if you guys claim that look look you guys claim that you know they outsold consoles two to one out of xbox whatever blah 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 okay so they sold a lot of consoles right but guess what it doesn't add up it doesn't translate to how many people are actually buying playstation first party exclusive titles let's give that fucking example don't you guys remember that game called stellar blade 
and Stellar Blade sold how many million? Only one million copies. One million copies out of how many PlayStation consoles sold? 66 million PlayStation consoles has been sold. Let's just take that number, right? Because we don't want we don't want that PlayStation 5 number to go even higher because it's gonna make it even look more ridiculous. So Stellar Blade was only a PlayStation 5 exclusive title. It was only on the PlayStation 5. It didn't release on the PC. It didn't release on any other platform. That game released on the PlayStation 5, Stellar Blade. Everybody was talking about it on Twitter. Everybody was raving about it. Everybody was praising about it. Like this game is good and all this bullshit. There was no problems, right? We want these type of games on our platform. They're going to pay for it. They're going to play it. Yay. All this bullshit, right? All this little song and dance. All this little song and clap. But they only sold one fucking million copies. They only sold one million copies. A lot of people is starting to damage control say, No, that's good. That's good. You know, blah, blah, blah. It's great. No, that's good. Whatever. But then when you add into the number saying, So basically, Stella Blade only sold one million copies out of 66 million consoles so out of that 66 million cons uh, consoles on the playstation 5 that they sold only 1 million players has brought the copy and played the game of stellar blade so what's so what's 1 million copies minus 66 million co uh, consoles sold how, how, well, if you minus it how much how much are they missing 1 million minus 66 million. This is not hard math, but you want me to bring out the calculator. Let's just bring out our handy dandy fucking calculator. Oh, look, the calculator is here today. Let's see what the calculator got to say because the numbers don't fucking lie. So let's do the fucking math. So we know the PlayStation consoles has has how many consoles? 66 million. So 66 million. Right? That's correct. That's 66. Mi no, that's 66,000. Hold on. Let me see. Sorry. 66 million consoles there it is so there's a number so there there's 66 million consoles that's been sold that's the playstation 5 number right that's correct so stella blaze sold how many copies 1 million right they sold 1 million copies and that's only exclusively on the playstation 5 no pc release no nothing right it only sold 1 million right there was no bad press it was no crazy ass stuff they're gonna be releasing the game just the way it is right so then now we're gonna minus it right we're gonna minus 1 million right that's 1000 there it is that's 1 million that's 1 million copies that are sold that's stellar blaze number so how much is that so we're gonna equal to oh so basically it's only 65,000 consoles out there on the PlayStation 5 platform have not purchased or played the game Stellar Blade. That is a PlayStation 5 exclusive title. See, now, hopefully, hopefully this right here will kind of wake up your fucking eyeballs and realize, oh, shit, this is a fucking problem. No wonder that PlayStation is porting games over to where again? Oh yeah, they're port they're porting games over to the PC so they can sell even more. Right? Hello? Do 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 we do do I have to say anymore? Black with Wukong sold at least well over what, like 10 million, I guess? I'm guessing 10 million. Black Myth Wukong sold over 10 million copies. Let's just put that, let's put that number for shits and giggles, right? Black Myth Wukong, okay? You think they want to see numbers like that. that that's what PlayStation want to see. They want to see that number and double. That's what they want to see off of their PlayStation first party lineup. They want to see double. But since Black Myth Wukong is a multi-plat game, let's just do this for shits and giggles, right? Let's just do this for shits and giggles right so let's see let's do the math again right 
66 million consoles, right? That's what the PlayStation has sold. 66 million. Minus Black Myth Mukon sell over 10 million copies. Minus 10 million. So we went from 1 million to 10 million. So we minus that. So that is 65 consoles. So basically 10 million players on the PlayStation 5 platform. This is just for shits and giggles. On the PlayStation 5 platform. This is not for real. On the PlayStation 5 platform. Has purchased and played Black Myth Wukon. Out of 56 million consoles out there that hasn't even played the game. Do you, do you not see the difference? But here's the deal. If let's say if, let's say Black Myth Wukong sold 10 million off of each platform. Let's say they let's say let's say the Xbox came out 10 million, the PlayStation came out, they sold 10 million, and let's say it's on the PC and they got 10 million. How much is what's 10 million? 10 million plus 10 million equals 30 million. See, this is where you don't understand what PlayStation is thinking about, okay? PlayStation want to make numbers like this. Let's just say, let's just say Black Myth Wukon was a strictly a exclusive title game and it sold well over 30 million copies, right? So we're going to do it again. 66 million. That's the console. Black Myth Wukon. Let's just say for shits and giggles, just to, just to make, just to play make believe. And let's say they sold 10, let's say hypothetically let's say xbox had 10 million this had uh playstation had 10 million pc had 10 million but let's just say all that add up that's 30 million let's just say it's only one console one console let's say playstation 5 owns you know playstation 5 has an exclusive right to black myth wukon and it sells well over 30 million copies that's what they want to see so minus 30 million So that means that's half of the almost damn near half, almost damn near half of the fucking console player base on the PlayStation 5 has played or whatever. And, you know, they, they sold over 30 million copies of Black Myth Wukon. So 30 million people played and purchased Black Myth Wukon and that's half the console. And you know what that translates to? the sales number because i guarantee you 1 million versus 30 million they want to see 30 million they don't want to see 1 million they want to see 30 million that's what playstation want to see numbers they want to see numbers like that they don't want to see 10 million 5 million 1 million they want to see 20 million 30 million they want to see that they want to see those copies are being sold 20 million, 30 million, 40 million. That's what they want to fucking see. Not low numbers from back from like two to three fucking like almost damn near 10 years ago. Y'all motherfuckers got to start waking up. Y'all got to start waking up. Y'all got to start waking up because that's not good. That's why that's why you see Square Enix getting pulled out. They said, no, we're not. We're not taking the exclusive deal for PlayStation anymore. We're going third party and we're putting our games on multiple platforms so we can sustain and sustain a flow. You're having a great day. And Bro, if you I had place, to rant about this that. Like, like, it's, it's, this is ridiculous. If you haven't already. So I keep seeing stuff like this. When you finally break free from the shackles of denial and accept the inevitable fate of the Xbox console. And it's a uh, this monk from well, who cares? What the fuck? Like, they're breaking free from what? They're making fucking money. They're getting sales, they're making money, and they got player numbers. Xbox Online Multiplayer, right? Even, like, again, what I said before, Sea of Thieves is outsmoking and outperforming fucking Concord. A game that I don't give a fuck about and Concord, I know damn well PlayStation don't give a fuck about. And you can see the numbers in the pudding cup. They're not getting the same amount of numbers or reaction on the PlayStation 5 player base. They're not happening. I know they're getting outsmoked by fucking 
Sea of Thieves. And Sea of Thieves is an Xbox title, not a PlayStation title. Uh, Wukong completely oh fading away. God, I've noticed a lot of the last Xbox fanboys started to say, okay, yes, the Xbox is kind of getting completely degraded, but it still has a content roadmap. I mean, PlayStation doesn't really do roadmaps. They just release lots and lots and lots of games. They release lots and lots of fucking games? They should be having a fucking roadmap. What, what kind of fucking grifter are you? This is unacceptable. PlayStation should have been had a roadmap. Since 2022, since 2021, they should have been had a roadmap. They've been asking and begging for where are these multiplayer games? Where is the games that people are going to be wanting to? Did we just did fucking math not that long ago? One million sold, and that's only a PlayStation 5 exclusive title. Stellar Blade, PlayStation 5 only. There's not even on PC yet. They only did 1 million. Meanwhile, Xbox with Forza Horizon 5, they did well over 30 million players was playing it. 30 million. 30 million players across all the platform, whatever, except for PlayStation, across all the other platforms and cloud did 30 million players. 30 million people are playing and buying the fucking game. 30. Not 1 million, not 2 million, not 3 million, not 4. 30. When when is when is y'all gonna motherfuckers gonna wake up to this shit? You know how much money that that's they're been making? I guarantee you, even the DLC is making fucking bank over there. Xbox is making bank. How many players are playing Stellar Blade right now? I bet you it's not that many. Because you know why? Guess what they're playing? Sea of Thieves, Grounded, right? Fallout, Fallout 4, Skyrim. And if if if, place, if Xbox put the put that uh whatchamacallit Starfield on the PlayStation 5. It's going to do even more numbers, but guess what? Who owns the right to Starfield? Who owns the studio? Xbox! So you think they're going to be making extra money from the DLC and all their... No. The answer is fucking no. No, they're not. This is why I'm telling you, bro. You're not, you're not waking up. You're not waking up. You're not seeing, you're not seeing what's going on. You're still closed minded. You still can't see. You're squinting. I see what's going on. I know what's going to happen. But this is one of the primary inspirations for this video because Clio Brile is a, a Twitter account that's very obsessed with Xbox in a positive Nobody cares a fuck about Clio Brile. The hype months have been getting increasingly pessimistic about the badness of Xbox. Who What's cares a Xbox fuck at all? Why why are you developing new consoles? Why are you marketing the Xbox console? I mean, at this point, what is Xbox without? We're not living in the 90s anymore. You realize that we're not living back in early 2000s. This is 2024. They got to play the game different. Hello? Like, y'all motherfuckers just don't realize when the day that you are born to the day that when you start to get older, that's when the point that where when you realize that you're not listening to the same music anymore. You're not really doing the same shit anymore. Some people are moving on and doing shit new and different. They're not clinging on to the past anymore. All these people keep holding on to the past, to the past, to the past. Motherfuckers, let it go. Let it go. Xbox is going into a new direction and they're going to switch up the game and doing something different. And they are in the business of making money. My job as a consumer is just what? Play the games that I enjoy and what I like to purchase. I don't give a fuck what they have to do. I'm just happy that the fact that we're getting a fucking game. We're getting roadmaps. We're getting exclusive titles. They are developing games. This, this is shit that we've been asking for from Xbox One generation. Now we're getting it.
And I'm very happy with it. Good. But but Phil lied. Phil, Phil lied. All this bullshit. Jim Ryan lied too. Come on, bro. Stop. Stop with this fucking garbage, bro. This is absolutely disgusting. About Xbox games. And he actually points this out. A lot of cool things from Xbox today. Xbox title. Not an X game, which everybody, the primary piece of hatred. This feels like the main catalyst of people. I don't know why people, I don't know why Xbox fanboys are getting a fucking meltdown that they don't realize when they take a step back and realize Indiana Jones is owned by Disney. Why would PlayStation care about Indiana Jones while they have Uncharted, the franchise? You know what they're banking on? They're getting X-Men, right? They're getting Wolverine. They want to make games out of X-Men and Wolverine. Why? Because they got the Spider-Man IP. They got the Spider-Man license. Sony owns the Spider-Man license. So therefore, they got some type of leverage to have that game to not come over to the Xbox. Because they're going to sit there and say, you want to use our Spider-Man IP for your Marvel movies and TV show. We'll lend you that. But in return, we need you to not port this game, which is Wolverine, onto the Xbox console. Disney says, okay, that's fine. We'll do it. That's if we're going to get Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for this many years. Yes. Okay. You have a deal. We'll lend you this IP. We'll let you make this game and you give us Spider-Man to put in our movies. You see how Sony and PlayStation and fucking Disney has some type of fucking leverage. They leveraging each other that's how that's why that's why you think they give a fuck about indiana jones playstation do not give a fuck about indiana jones they don't care the ceo over there whoever's in fucking in charge they don't give a fuck what they're more focused on and worried about is how are we going to make money because the playstation fan base over here in our platform, the majority of people, yes, they got a PlayStation console. We're out selling Xbox, but our biggest fucking problem is they're not playing our games. You know why? Guess what they're playing? Call of Duty. Black Ops is coming out not that long. It's in October. And that's gonna be where? On PlayStation. And you know all those PlayStation players is gonna be playing what? They're not playing Concord. They're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6. That's an Xbox title. Let's not forget those free to play fucking games, right? Right? You know the suspects. Fortnite, Apex Legends, free to play games. They're free. They put in out Concord that costs $40, but guess what? It's free. And guess who owns it? Oh, wait. What, what was that game that. That did this hero shooter like long ago. Blizzard made it. it. It was it was something. It was what was that title? Ah, man, it almost made me forget about it. Holy shit! What was that title? Was I believe it was. What was that game? Oh my god! I I ain't even forgetting myself. Because I don't even play hero shooters like that. Holy shit, I'm going to have to look it up. Because I remember. Because it was... What was that game? Because I even... I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting games about it. Because I know it's Black Ops 6. And they do have a hero shooter. But basically, Blizzard has a hero shooter. That hero shooter is free to play. Pretty much. I'm just forgetting off the top of my head what is the game. I don't think it's this one. Sorry about that. I keep on forgetting the game because I don't even play the game like that. Oh, there it is. I got it. Overwatch. Shit. See, 
I don't even play fucking hero shooters like that, and I can't even remember all of them. There's Valorant, there's this, there's uh, this and that. But Overwatch. Overwatch is a free-to-play game that's better than fucking Concord. And they already done it first. Oh my god. Y'all people, you you gotta stop with this. ...anger and disappointment towards Xbox. Because Indiana Jones coming to the PlayStation 5, people seem to be specifically pissed about the idea that they announced the release date for Xbox and PlayStation 5. What be the fuck do? They announced the release date on there, like, who gives a fuck? Currently, they said, yeah, to allow the game to be an official time, now be a duty edition is it? But now, it is. Now, there really is no reason to have an Xbox at this point. There's no reason for me to have an Xbox. That's funny because there is a reason to have an Xbox. Because you know why? Because guess what? They got a actual fucking roadmap. Yes, there's some games on here that I don't like. Bleeding Edge. I don't like that fucking game. Redfall. I don't like that fucking game. Right? I played it. It's like, ugh. Ugh. That's a pass. Halo Infinite. I'm not really a big fan of Halo Infinite. Forza Horizon 5. Yes. Age of Empire. I enjoyed that game. Psychonauts 2. That's not my fucking game. Age of Empires 2. That's my game. Right? You know, Starfield. Yes, that's my game. Like, look, there's plenty of games on here. Those are my games. And some that I don't care about or I don't like. But the whole point is why I like Xbox is because they putting out a fucking roadmap. And they putting out games for everyone to fucking play and enjoy. There's a lot of games on here on this goddamn list that you can definitely pick out and say, oh, this game I like, this game I like, this game I like. You could at least point out three to four fucking games you're definitely going to like and play. 100% hands down. And then on top of that, to put, put, a little, put a little icing on the cake. If you already got Game Pass, they're dropping games like, again, Mafia Definitive Edition. If you haven't played Mafia, we've seen Mafia the Old Country. Now it's like, oh shit, that game is going to be coming out soon. I should be downloading some Mafia game and play some of that, which I am. And I own a copy of Mafia. I have all three of the fucking Mafia games. And I'm going to be playing it here on uh, playing this game pretty damn soon. That's going to be my game. They're dropping this game. Doom. Crash. Crash Trilogy, right? The Capcom game. Right? Nobody gives a fuck about flinch lock. Who cares? That's a throwaway game. I don't care about that game. And I'm not playing it. There's plenty of games on here that they're dropping. Right? Persona 3. Reloaded. League of Legends. No Man's Sky. If you don't like Starfield, you can play your little bullshit No Man's Sky. That's not my game. I tried it and it's garbage. Like, come on, man. There's, there's always a game for somebody in... Either right here on Game Pass, you can give it a try. And again, if you never played Mafia game, this is a perfect opportunity to play it. It's a really good game. Very good. Highly recommend it. And it's on Game Pass. I don't have to shell out 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars for the Mafia Definitive Edition. I can just play it right here on Game Pass, finish the game, and, and then I'll say, okay, I'm gonna be ready. For Mafia the Old Country, when that game comes out, I'm going to be ready to stream that game and play it. Because I really like the Mafia franchise. Or I play the first Definitive Edition, now it makes me want to say maybe I should play Mafia 2. And I should play Mafia 3. Look at this. Games that are coming out. Indiana Jones. Black Ops 6. Or, I told you, mate, uh, this is not my game, right? Myth of Age. This might be a game like 50-50. And Frostpunk, I'm not a Frostpunk fan, but at least I got two games right here out of these four games that I really, eh, or I don't really care about. But they're putting out games for me that I can sit here and I can point out and I can play. I played Dark Ties. I love that game. I think that game is really good. Some people like it, some people don't. The Warhammer series. I play Atomic Heart. I think it was a great game. Not a game that I will buy full price or purchase it, but maybe on sale, I might pick it up. So, there's, there's like, games you could definitely point out and play. There's definitely some games. That's why I like about Xbox, because they're putting out fucking games, and they're putting out new titles coming out soon. Doom the Dark Ages. All this shit right here. 
And you know what the funniest part about this is? What what he said? Let me go back a little bit. Indiana what Jones, he said? Uh, and they were doing that to be like, yeah, we are getting Indiana Jones and PlayStation isn't. But now it is. Now there really is no reason to have an Xbox. At this point, even if you love Xbox games, they're better on PlayStation. Oh, they're better on PlayStation? Oh, let me let me put up this video. This let me destroy that video because uh, I just saw this was you from like two weeks ago talking about Doom the Dark Ages and you was at QuakeCom. Let's see how it, let, let's see how you excited for this one. I, Look I at this. Like we're doing something good, but I want you guys to make up your mind. And then they showed 10 full minutes of carnage, of gore, of insanity. But I want to talk about it because the gameplay was slow uh, in this demo they showed off because clearly whenever you see a lot of these trailers and stuff for Doom games, when you get your hands on it, it's very easy to learn how to duck and dodge and do takedowns and stuff like that. But when it's like these demos for press and stuff like that, a lot of times they're slowing you down so you can kind of like understand what you're looking at. So they said the motto for Doom, the Dark Ages, is stand and fight. They said with Doom Eternal, we came up with verticality and stuff like that, the ability to have grapple hooks and double jumps and air dashes. They said for Doom, the Dark Ages, this is a prequel, it takes place hundreds of years ago, and it's time to stand and fight. So they showed a bunch of this huge shield, the saw shield. It lets you absorb enemy fire, it can deflect bullets, you can throw it, and it will chop people up. It showed it work like Captain America's shield. It looked so crazy, he can charge it up, like pull a cord that starts it, and then throw it like a gigantic frisbee, and it'll chop people up, it'll do like a big circle around the room and come back to you. I'm not sure exactly how, but it showed him using it to like air dash somehow. So there was like at one point there was a broken bridge and he threw the shield and then pulled himself up to it or teleported up to it to get across the gap. So I guess maybe it's going to replace the, the chain grapple hook system of Doom Eternal. But they also showed a bunch of different guns, which <laughs> they didn't explain what guns or what. Uh, they showed so much concept art. They showed a plasma cannon that looked so photorealistic, like the graphics on every spark, every drop of blood just nuking people. The gun that was in the trailer that they showed first, when they showed it at the Microsoft press conference uh, back at E3 time during Summer Games Fest, the gun that kind of melted the internet was that skull gun. It's like a gun where you put a human skull or a demon skull into it and it crunches it up and turns it into bullets. They showed a ton of that. It does like a spray fire. I thought it would like shoot more direct. It's almost like a skull shotgun that just machine guns out bone fragments at a billion miles an hour. It looks so good. Like uh, the whole trailer was so crazy. And then like the demo was 10 minutes long they showed off. About five minutes into it, they started showing vehicles. He was riding on the back of a dragon, fighting what looked like other dragons, gigantic laser-winged demons that were flying around. It looks like the vehicles have different sort of weapons. And then it said, oh yeah, by the way, we have like a mecha tank. There's like a demonic Gundam. The Doom Slayer gets into this thing they say is 30 stories tall. We saw the mech in that first teaser trailer. I saw like three minutes of mech combat gameplay. It is huge. The mech is able to do hand-to-hand -hand combat, so there's giant, like, arch demons, and he's walking up, punching them, ripping them apart, and then he gets out a Gatling gun the size of the Empire State Building and just starts mowing them down. Doom the Dark Ages looks absolutely insane, and I guess, more than anything else, I'm just blown away by the fact that it looks just better than any other Doom. Like, the whole demo thing was completely top secret. They actually had security in the room, so uh, people were trying to take pictures. If you even got your phone out, they would immediately, uh, security would come up and just be like, no, 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 none of that, none of that. Uh, all of it was labeled pre-alpha, so I'm sure some stuff was technically, like, placeholder assets and stuff like that, but honestly, a Doom prequel seems like something that wouldn't work. Like, conceptually, you think, okay, Doom is such an established series. Like, why would you go back? Keep going forward. Show me more crazy Doom Slayer adventures and far-off space, but in a weird way, going back to the past, having a lot more weird chaos and stuff with swords and sorcery and magic in castles and stuff, it's shocking how well this all flows together, but I guess the thing that maybe won't even come through, eventually I'm sure this gameplay will come out, somebody probably filmed it, they'll probably take it down if anybody decides to try and post it online, but the thing I think just stuck with me the most is the director of the game, Hugo Martin, I've had a chance to talk to him one-on-one -on -one before, extremely nice guy, definitely knows what he's talking about, and he cares a lot about Doom, obviously, <laughs> the director of it, but when he talked about trying to make the best Doom ever and then showing it, there is a raw passion in it that just blew my mind. Assumedly, this is a game studio by Microsoft, so, I mean, it is id, so this is going to go on Game Pass. If this does come out next year, if this drops on Game Pass, I think this is going to be a huge, huge, huge W for Microsoft, because, man, uh, every bit of this, I want to see what else it has to value, because they only showed off, like, five weapons. Oh. Oh, you wait. You just heard that, right? I, just, I didn't want to say anything, but you just heard that. But then, but then this is what he says three days ago. This is what he said from two weeks ago. Do you, do you do you not do you not understand that this is the grifting that we're talking about? He said all this other fucking bullshit. This is a huge W. It looks amazing. Looks so good. It looks like whatever. I talked to the whatever. This shit. Looks, ah, da, 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 da. All this fucking bullshit. And he's telling people like, uh, yeah, you know what? Give up. Give up your Xbox. There's no reason to own an Xbox. There's no reason to to play these games or whatever. He saw. 10, what, 10 minutes of gameplay of Doom the Dark Ages, which I wasn't even there to see it. I'm pretty sure it would, it would probably look fucking amazing.
And yet, he made a video talking about it, describing it, saying all this cool ass shit and all this bullshit, and then it looks like a big, big what? Wait, can you can you repeat that a little bit of that small part again? Let, let me let me hear that part Probably again. This guy definitely knows what we're talking about, and he cares a lot about Doom. Obviously, <laughs> the director of it. But what he talked about, trying to make the best Doom ever, and then showing it, there is a raw passion in it that just blew my mind. Oh, oh, this is a raw passion. Oh, okay, so Xbox do got some passion, okay. Actually, this is a game studio by Microsoft, so, I mean, it is id, so this is gonna go on Game Pass. If this does come out next year, if this drops on Game Pass, I think this is going to be a huge, huge, huge W for Microsoft. A huge, huge, huge W for Microsoft. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. You heard it here. But, but wait, he said, he said there's no reason to get an Xbox? What he said? Bad guy in Indiana Jones, uh, and they were doing that to be like, yeah, why? The finally going to show very excited for Indiana Jones. People were making these gifts. This is like a real video edit where I'm the bad guy in Indiana Jones, uh, and they were doing that to be like, yeah, we are getting Indiana Jones, and PlayStation isn't. But now it is. Now there really is no reason to have an Xbox at this. Point. There's no reason to have an Xbox. You heard it here. You heard it here. But then you heard you heard what he talking about doing the Dark Age. Man, get this fucking clown ass grifter ass up out of here. Get get out of here, Dreamcast guy. Get this fucking clown ass up out of here, bro. Unsubscribe to his fucking channel. Subscribe to my channel. I'm not no fucking grifter like him. Fucking grifting and saying some bullshit. I can tell you between here's a good game and here's a bad game. Here's a game that has potential. Here's a game that doesn't have potential. It's not fucking hard. It's not fucking rocket science. You can clearly see it for yourself. But this fucking grifter right here, he got to do it because he got to pay his bills. While he should be getting off his fat ass off of fucking YouTube in front of the fucking screen and go get an actual job at McDonald's. Work at McDonald's. That's where you belong. You don't belong on fucking YouTube saying, oh, I'm a gaming journalist and all this shit. Well, well, there's no reason to own an Xbox. There's, just, there's no reason. But then he's talking about Doom the Dark Ages, like how this is amazing, it looks incredible, it looks like da 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 All this fucking other bullshit from two weeks ago. This is him now three days ago, man, there's no reason. Stop listening to these fucking grifters. They throwing you down into the wrong fucking direction. These YouTube wannabe so-called gamers, these are not gamers. They are not. My channel is a real gamer channel. I post up gameplay footage of me playing games f for two to three fucking hours, even close to damn near four or five hours. I post up gameplay footage of me playing these games. Where's the gameplay footage that fucking uh, fucking Dreamcast guy, huh? Where, where's that? Where's the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours of fucking Baldur's Gate 3 posted up onto your channel? Where, where's that? Where, where's all those footage? Where's all that so-called you claim? You don't fucking play these games. I bet you your fucking roommate plays these games for your fucking ass. The roommate plays these games for your ass to make content. You're not even picking up the controller and playing it. Holding up an Xbox. Holding up a controller. That don't mean shit. I think your roommate is playing the game for your fucking ass. And you're not doing shit. Because there's no way in hell... That there is 24 hours in a day that you are able to play and review every single game within 24 hours. That is no way in hell and is impossible. That is a lie. All this grifter ass bullshit. I'm tired of Dreamcast guy, bro. Let, let's let's move on, bro. To fucking who again? Oh yeah, let's move on to Xbox fanboys. And what better person is, is Kid Smooth, a wannabe Xbox fan. He ain't no Xbox fan. I'm more of an Xbox fan than him. Because you know why? I don't hold on to the past. I don't hold on to the fucking past. I let that shit go. You got to realize that this is 2024. We're not living in the times of, of like, oh, bro, man, you know, like the console this, this, that, exclusive those days are fucking over they are over and done long done 
But let's hear what he got to say right here. We ain't going to stick here, stick around Party with him. Everybody. They still talk shit about me because I mentioned anything remotely positive about Xbox, right? I'm yeah, because you're a fucking fanboy. You're not an Xbox fan. I'm an Xbox fan because I appreciate what Phil is doing, which he is making these fucking games for us for me to play. And he actually posts up a fucking roadmap. Hello? Like, there's plenty of games right here that I could be playing. It's ridiculous. Like, he posted me up a roadmap of everything that I need to play. Phil is not paying my bills. Phil is not paying the bills. Phil is a businessman. He's oh, there to do business. Games. When are you going to hey, wake the fuck up? When is y'all motherfucking fanboys on both sides of the fucking aisle and these fucking YouTuber grifters? When is y'all going to wake the fuck up? These CEOs are not your fucking friends. I've been saying this shit over and over again. These corporations are not your fucking friends. They are here to do business and run a business to make fucking money. They don't give a fuck about you fanboys. You think PlayStation give us a, gives a fuck about you? PlayStation don't give a fuck about you. We'll get to that. Trust me, I'm going to blow your fucking mind when you, when you watch. Watch. Towards the very end of this fucking video, I fucking promise you, you're going to be like, damn. I guess PlayStation really don't even care about us, even from fucking almost damn near nine years ago. They don't give a fuck. And they don't. And they don't give a fuck about you now. They don't care about none of you fanboys. Not Portal Rock, not fucking Dreamcast guy, not, not Xbox. They don't give a fuck about none of y'all, motherfuckers. Y'all all are old people, old heads. People are still holding on to the fucking past. Bro. It's 2020, motherfucking four. Wake the fuck up. You think they, you think half of y'all motherfuckers are still trapped inside of the fucking matrix thinking that if I keep doing the same thing, we're going to get different results. Guess what? It's fucking not. You keep doing the same shit over and over and over again, expecting different results. You're not going to get different results you're just going to get the same shit and the same failures the same bullshit over and over again shit gotta change you gotta change up the strategy gotta do stuff different and that's what xbox is doing good like again like people people sit there and say bro man i don't like starfield because starfield is not the same as skyrim fallout that's good I don't want Starfield to be the same fucking game like Star, like fucking Skyrim and fucking Fallout 4. I don't want it to be the same. I want them to do something different. Bring in something new. Be creative. Be doing something new. I don't give a fuck if it fails or succeeds. I want the game to be fucking different. I don't want the same game like Skyrim. Because if you're going to get the same game... We're just going to play the same shit over and over again. If you haven't realized lately that live services has been the same shit over and over and over again. If you haven't fucking noticed that, you haven't fucking noticed that, like, every fucking game is the same fucking bullshit. Same fucking Battle Pass bullshit. Same fucking bullshit live service. Same fucking, oh, if you get this, you do this, you get this. Same fucking garbage. People like me and everyone else are sick and tired of live service games that are the same fucking garbage over and over again. We are tired of the same fucking game over and over again. That's why people are playing other games, different games, single player games, something else. Because guess what? We don't want to keep playing the same shit that we played from like 10 years ago. That was from 10 fucking years ago. It is 2024. Bring something new to the fucking table. Thank you. Shit. I'm fucking sick and tired of you fucking Xbox fanboys crying like a bitch. With all the games that he showed, you, you crying about, oh man, Phil Spencer lied, man. Phil Spencer lied. Motherfucker, Phil Spencer ain't paying my motherfucking bills. Jim Ryan ain't paying my rent. The fuck? Am I working with fucking PlayStation? Am I getting a PlayStation check? 
The last time I checked, I haven't gotten a PlayStation fucking check in the fucking mailbox. And the last time I checked, I didn't get a direct deposit from fucking Phil Spencer himself. So what are we doing here? You sitting here dick riding and believing these motherfuckers and these CEOs? Then that's the fucking problem. That's your problem. You're just a fucking dick rider. Stop dick riding. It's okay you want to be a fan of something. I'm a fan of Xbox. I may not agree or like some of the things that they're doing. But at the end of the day, I'm still a fan of Xbox because of what? Because of the games that they're putting out for me to play that I am looking forward to to playing. I am a customer and a consumer. I enjoy Game Pass. That's why I got fucking Game Pass on the PC. I'm enjoying it. Whether or not if I have a PC or even just an Xbox console, I will still enjoy the Game Pass on my console. Because I don't have to shell out fucking 70, 80, $100 per fucking game while it's coming to fucking Game Pass. I'm taking advantage of it that every month I'm getting a game that I'm definitely going to be looking forward to to play. Whether it's Black Ops 6, Indiana Jones, a Valve that's going to be coming, Stalker 2, come what the fuck, man? Hello? Yes, I do not like Game Pass prices has gone up. Nobody don't like Game Pass prices to go up. I don't like that. I don't like it. Okay? And if I really don't like it, and if it's too expensive, then I'll unsubscribe. That's what I will do. I'll unsubscribe. Hey, it's too much for me. Look. It's no different from fucking Netflix and Hula Hoop and all this fucking other bullshit live streaming service. If I don't like Netflix content and I don't really care about their garbage ass bullshit, guess what I can do? Unsubscribe from Netflix. I don't have to subscribe to them. I don't have to keep giving them or paying my fucking money out. I got the power to say, I don't have to watch your fucking content. Therefore, I can go somewhere else. It's that fucking simple. How hard is that? It ain't that fucking hard. If I don't like this fucking game, right? Let's say if I don't like Forza Horizon 5. You know how easy it is? Look, go click it down here, uninstall the game. It's that fucking simple. If I don't like the game and I don't want to play it no more, I can do that. I can do that to Starfield. I can do that to any fucking game on Game Pass. If I don't like it enough for me to buy it, I don't have to buy the game. If you like it, you can buy the game right here on Game Pass if you want to. Or you can even buy it on Steam. It doesn't fucking matter. The choice is up to you at the end of the fucking day. Phil Spencer don't dictate what I, what I can play and what I can't play. Phil Spencer is a businessman. Just like Jim Ryan at a time, once upon a time ago, he was a businessman. Now, whoever the fuck in charge, I don't know, House Mart and all this fucking, I don't even fucking know what's going on on the PlayStation side because it's a fucking disaster and it's just a fucking mess that, I, like, honestly, like, again, if they want, they want me to go buy their games and do business, then they got to show me that they really are about it. Other than that, I don't have to purchase none of their games, which I haven't. I haven't purchased any of their fucking games. We're in 2024 and I still haven't purchased not one PlayStation title game. That doesn't mean that, oh, I don't like PlayStation. I don't want PlayStation to succeed. I want them to succeed. You see me pointing out fucking problems. You see me showing you this is what they need to do. Stop fucking around. PlayStation, get your head out of your fucking ass and get on your shit. No, these fanboys are, and, and these so-called, we got... A uh, uh, cream cast guy face, dick riding for fucking Xbox, saying, "Oh, I like I like Doom: The Dark Ages. I love that game. It's so uh, it's amazing. Those ten minutes, that's fucking amazing. It's gonna be a very huge W." To like now, a few weeks later, oh man, Xbox is done. They're dead. Everybody, sell your console. Look, PlayStation Five is so superior, bro. If they're fucking superior. Oh, they, they don't they don't need a roadmap. They drop hundreds of and hundreds of thousands of fucking games. They're dropping games like this? This is what the they're, they're dropping? What in the fuck are we doing? What what are we doing? I'm being serious. What the fuck are we doing? It's 2024.
24. Are you fucking serious? What kind of, yo, what kind of gamer do you fucking guys take me for? You think I'm a fucking joke? Y'all think, you you guys really think I'm a fucking joke. Oh, you're a joke. You're you're not a gamer. You're not. And I'm buying all of these fucking games. Hold on. Let, let, let me put, let me post it up for your fucking dumb asses. Let, let's see the list right here, right? We got a whole list. Age of Empires 2. Batman. The whole trilogy, right? The Vanishing of Ethan Car Carter. Rage. Battlefield 4. B Bioshock Infinite. Borderlands 3. Capcom, Capcom Fighting Collection, Cyberpunk 2077, and the DLC, Age of Empires 2, Age of Empires, Ascended, Battlefield 5, Battlefield, Battlefield, um, Battlefield 1, The Witcher, Just Cause 3, Halo Master Chief Collection, Batman Arkham Origin, Tekken 8, Zombie Army 4 and the Zombie Army Trilogy Edition. Outer Worlds. Payday 2. Starfield. Prey. Like, what do you what do you guys take me for? Like, what do you like? You see all the games that I play. I play from AAA titles all the way down to an indie title or even throwaway titles that you may not care about. But I have a variety of fucking games right here. It's not just Call of Duty every time, 24 fucking 7. It's not fucking, uh, what, uh, Epic Games garbage ass fucking bullshit. Everybody was dick riding for V-Bucks. What, fucking, uh, Fortnite? That fucking shit, that shit is old, bro. I ain't on that shit. I ain't playing that garbage. You see the games on here. What, what do you want me to tell you? Bioshock 1 and 2, Bioshock Remastered, Fallout 4. Fallout 3, Hot Wheels Unleash, Sniper Elite 4, Sleeping Dogs, Crisis Remaster, Borderlands 2, Soul Calibur 6, Elden Ring, bro, bro, and Metroid X, Metroid Last Lights, Metroid 2023, Redux, Metroid Exodus, Mafia, Mafia 2, Mafia Definitive Edition, Mafia 3. Dishonored 2, Dishonored 1. Dirt 4. Like, what? Do, do I have to say anymore, bro? Stop this fucking gar- I'm tired of this shit, bro. Y'all think y'all- this, this, But this, this is right here. This, this right here? This right here? This is what you want me to trade in my Xbox for for this shit? Y'all gotta stop. Y'all got to stop. Enough is enough. I'm tired of the garbage. I'm tired of you fucking fanboys, bro. Let's hear I'm what he got else got to say. I don't, I'm not flip flopping. I'm not jumping over to PlayStation. Like, oh, PlayStation is the best. Yes, you are. You're jumping over to fucking PlayStation because you're not even a fan. You're not even saying half of the shit that I'm saying right now. That I'm pointing out. I want PlayStation to succeed. I want them to be in some competition, but right now, the game lineup on that fucking PlayStation fucking platform is a fucking joke. In comparison, it's a fucking joke. It's literally a fucking joke. Where is the roadmap? The roadmap is blank for PlayStation. Where are the games? These are the only two ones that are coming out this year. What's going to happen next year? What, what games are they going to show off? Are they finally going to bring us Uncharted 5? Because they've been begging for that game. You know they're begging over there. They want factions multiplayer than fucking Concord. This is this is unfucking believable. But then everybody's crying and saying, oh, Phil, Phil, who gives a fuck? Stop worshipping Phil, bro. Like if Phil was tweeting out saying, I'm going on vacation, hey. Have a good vacation, bro. That's it. All you motherfuckers is dick riding like, yo, man, get the fuck out of Xbox. You blah, blah. like, bro, stop treating this fucking man. Yo, I, I'm. Oh, God, I'm fucking tired of y'all. I am sick and tired of y'all. No, no, I'm mad at X me being mad at Xbox has nothing to do with PlayStation has nothing to do with any other platform or brand. I think I think Xbox is ran by a bunch of 
coke sniffing people. I feel like somebody's smoking. What the fuck are you talking about? They are, they have the brand. Bro, they got games that I, oh my God, I, I can't, I can't keep saying this shit over and over again. They got games that are out, like, look, they put what? A game that I don't give a fuck about, which is Sea of Thieves. And I don't give a fuck about Hi-Fi Rush. Those games can kiss my natural black ass. I don't fucking care about them shits. However, at the end of the day, as a Xbox fan, when you look at when you look at the whole thing, what's fucking going on? The big fucking picture that Sea of Thieves is outperforming in terms of numbers and player numbers that are playing online and playing the game. And I think that game even costs like 40 something dollars or whatever, $70. I don't know. Sea of Thieves. It costs fucking money to play, but yet they're playing that game and they're paying for it over Concord that costs 40 fucking dollars. And you can see the numbers for yourself. What? Oh, oh shit. Damn. I deleted it. But you know what the number is. The number is so fucking low. It's not even fucking funny. I deleted it by mistake. God damn it. Oh, well. But the numbers are, are are just laughably a fucking joke. They are a fucking joke. It's baffling. What the fuck? Are, are you serious? They're getting their ass kicked. Sea of Thieves, a rare title game from from Rare. From Rare. Sea of Thieves is getting getting their ass kicked. Like it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous or drinking on the job right now i honestly think the current xbox management need to the only person that's smoking crack is fucking you kiss move because you're utterly a fucking joke this is why you fell off this is why people don't take you fucking seriously this is why people don't even subscribe to your channel this is why you got 12.9k subscribers because you ain't shit you're fucking dog shit stop subscribing to this man channel unsubscribe to this motherfucker subscribe to my channel at least i'm pointing shit out that's honestly fucking legitly and fucking alarming. Hello? I'm I'm pointing shit out here. What I don't hear no fucking those fucking PlayStation fucking fanboys answering any of my fucking questions and answering to a lot of those real PlayStation fans out there. Not fanboys, real PlayStation fucking fans. They've been asking for, yo, where's Con where's where's not Concord? Where's fucking Killzone? Where's SOCOM? Where's Factions Multiplayer? Where are these multiplayer games that you've done since the PlayStation 3? What happened now? You can't make a multiplayer game? You can't even make a simple multiplayer fucking game. You can't do it anymore? So you telling me, Polyphony Studio, the makers who did fucking Gran Turismo 7, they can't make an open world racing game? You telling me that it's too, it's too hard to make an open world racing game the, the franchise that they already have, Gran Turismo 7, is too hard for them. Those devs, is too hard for them to make an open world fucking racing game. But yet, Phil Spencer has made Forza Horizon 5 and what? Forza Motorsport. A track-based game and an open world racing game. I'm, I'm fucking, this, this bullshit got to stop. I want to play an open world racing game. I don't give a fuck about motorsport. I want an open world racing game. Where is that on the PlayStation fucking 5? And I've been saying they should be doing what? Making a fun multiplayer game experience on the PlayStation 5 platform that will do numbers. And it will do way better numbers than Gran Turismo fucking 7. No, it's not. It's not. Bro, if you already see that Forza Horizon has not even come to the PlayStation fucking platform yet. Not even on the PlayStation 5 yet. Forza Horizon 5 has did how many numbers? 30 million. 30 million across the Xbox platform, right? The console, and on PC. 30 fucking million. What do you think is going to happen when, that, when they put that Forza Horizon 5 on the on the on the PlayStation 5. You think they're you think that game is not gonna do fucking numbers? You think that game is gonna flop? 
If you truly think that, you are smoking fucking crack right now. You are literally high as fuck, and you're just nothing but a fucking grifter and a fake ass gamer. Get your ass up out of here, because you already know, once that game drop on that fucking platform, you can kiss that fucking Forza Horizon, well, well not Forza Horizon, you can kiss that fucking Gran Turismo 8, that fucking game coming out, you can kiss that goodbye. Because I'm going to tell you one thing, soon as they get a taste of that shit, oh shit man, Forza Horizon 5 is an open world racing game, damn, you know, I can actually, you know, actually, you know, get the PlayStation, you know, whatever plus and get the lowest tier and then me and my friends, we could talk online and race each other and stuff and we could customize cars and make custom maps and shit and we can have a great time. We can drift, we can drag race, we can do jumps, all this crazy stuff, man. This is so much fun. Man, this is... And then one, one, one of those people going to be like, Hey, you, what, what about uh, Gran Turismo 8? You, you going to be buying that? Mm, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not going to... I don't care about Gran Turismo 8. That's boring. That's on the track. Uh, I don't want to play that shit. I know the game looks beautiful, but... Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be waiting for Forza Horizon 6. And if it doesn't come, if it doesn't come on here on, on the PlayStation 5, I might consider getting me a PC so I can just play it early because I really, really want to play that game. It, it's so much fun. Yo, like... Me and the boys, yo, we, we we rolling around with some Evos. He rolling around with a Subaru, bro, yo. We was we was racing, bro. That shit was fun, yo. We did some street racing, yo. That shit was cool as hell, bro. You man, we can we can't even do that on, on on Gran Turismo Seven, man. We can't even do that on Gran Turismo Seven, bro. That's how it's going to be. That's how the conversation is exactly going to be. Cause they, once they got a taste of that Force Horizon Five, they are going to stop playing. What? They're not. They don't give a fuck about Gran Turismo Eight. They'll say fuck that game. I'll wait for Gran Turismo Six. And guess who's going to be making money? It ain't going to be fucking Sony. Sony ain't going to be getting that money. Microsoft is. They're getting that money and the player number. And guess what? Those DLC cost money too, right? Those car packs, right? Imagine, imagine Forza Horizon Six got got like new DLC and car packs. You think you think they're gonna be sitting there waiting around, say, "Man, I don't, don't want to pay, bro." They're gonna be like, "Bro, they got another Hot Wheels." What? All right, hey, yo, well, we gotta get that shit. This shit is fun. Cool. Let's go. Let's go race together, bro. Let's go get some cars and shit and unlock some shit. Oh, all right. That's what they're gonna do, bro. They're not. They're... Bro, let me tell you, man. This is this is going. This is not going to help playstation is going to hurt playstation and hopefully to the point where they might say oh we need to wake up and actually make some fun multiplayer games that we have done in the past and people are saying right now we want factions multiplayer they want kill zone they want mag they want socom we need to start making some games that are fun and enjoyable and people that gamers that wants to play instead of ignoring them Instead of ignoring them, they should be fucking doing what? Listening. Open up your fucking ears. Listen. They ain't fucking listening too well. To actually go. They need to go. I think they're, they're, they're doing too much damage. They're doing irreversible damage right now. Kiss move. They're going to have to change the game, bro. We're not living back in those times. Like, again, they're not going to keep doing the same bullshit over and over again. They are going to fail and they don't want to fail. Uh, remember, let me just let me just remind y'all motherfuckers that's in your 30s going into your 40s. Let me remind you motherfuckers. The time that you spent on these consoles long ago was the time that you spent. Right now, there is a new generation of gamers coming up in the world. People are getting going from middle school, going into high school, people coming from high school, getting out of Getting out of high school, going into college, going into work, going into a career job, a trade school. You got these new generations of, of gamers out here. And guess what? They are not on the same fucking level or on the same page as all the old people are. They're on some new shit, right? Long time ago, whatever the first car you drove, that's what you drove. But guess what? The new generation coming up and guess what cars are they driving? They're driving something else. They're driving, they're driving and they got different cars. They're driving different vehicles. 
They're not driving the once upon a time ago, here's the first car that I drove from way back in 2001. They're not doing that shit. They're driving car vehicles in what? 2023, 2024, 2025. They're driving newer vehicles, newer technology, newer shit. They're not driving old shit. Kiss moves don't fucking realize your ass is old. I'm getting older too. The days of those gaming is long past. Move the fuck on. Xbox gotta do shit different. In order to survive in this fucking market, especially right now when shit is high. I don't know if you haven't fucking heard, but the electricity bill has gone up. Right? It didn't go down. It gone up. Double. Double. It's not, it's not like how it was before. It goes up a little bit. No, it's double. So if you was paying $80, it's double that or even triple that. Now you're paying $200 for a light bill. It's insane. And you barely even turning on shit or don't even have anything fucking running. Shit is happening in the fucking real world. You think, how do you think they're going to survive in this marketplace? They can't survive in this fucking marketplace that they kept doing the same shit back in the 90s. They ain't going to be making their money. They got to do shit different. New generation gamers may not heard about Xbox or PlayStation or don't know any history about it. They don't fucking know and they most likely don't fucking care. They don't give a shit. All they care about is what? The games. What games are they developing for me that I could be playing right now? And they already delivering it. Good. Because I'm a customer and a consumer at the end of the day. All I care about is what? The games. If I like the games, I'll buy it. If I don't like it, I don't have to buy it. Phil Spencer ain't putting a gun to my fucking head. Just like all those PlayStation one of PlayStation CEOs over there, they ain't putting a gun to my head to go run out there to get me a play go get a PlayStation fucking five because I need it. What games do they have on there to make me want to go out there to get a PlayStation 5 right now? I got a credit card that's like a $2,000 credit line. So if I really want to, I can go out to the store right now to go pick me up a PlayStation 5. Give me a reason. Give me a game that they have right now in 2024 that it's going to make me play a PlayStation 5 title game. I'm waiting because I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's nothing there for me to fucking play. Do they got an open world racing game for me to play? First party? No. Do they got a first part? They do got a what you call it? A first person RPG game that I could be playing right now that's similar to fucking Starfield, similar to Skyrim. Do do Sony has that? No. Okay, so they don't got that either. So do they got whatever a first person shooter online multiplayer, the equivalent to Halo? Do they got that? It's PlayStation, first party. Do they got that title? Similar to Halo or something to compete with Halo. Do they got it? Yes or no? The answer is no, they don't fucking got it. So therefore, what is the point of me going out there getting a PlayStation 5? What is the point? What What is the point? When I go to play cinematic games, cool, there's some cinematic games that they have. All right, cool, cinematic, great. I need more than just cinematic games. That's why Xbox delivers on what? Here's an open world racing game. Here's a first person RPG game. Here is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Here's a first person shooter game that's online multiplayer. Here's Stalker 2. You don't want to play online with people? We got Stalker 2. Exclusively for the Xbox. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Phil. That's that's those are the games that I'm looking for to, for me to keep playing and also being a support on the Xbox platform. You're giving me games that I want, and it, you also not just me. It's for everyone. You're giving games for also for everyone else. Maybe they're not into first person shooters. Some people are not into RPG games. Some people are into strategy games and they got it. Some people are into flight sim. Then, then Forza Horizon 5. They got it for them. They got games for people, for other people to play as well. It's not just fucking me. That's why I keep supporting the fucking Xbox brand. That's why... I always going to support Xbox. Yes, I give them some hard times. Yes, I don't like shit that what they do. Raising prices, this and this and that. 
But at the end of the day, all that matters to me is, are you delivering the games that I want to play? Yes or no? Yes. You're delivering games for other people that they want to play too? Yes. Good. That's good enough for me. I'm more than happy. I don't, I don't care if the game runs at 30 FPS or fucking 60. All I care about is, is the game is stable? Yes. Is it like a Redfall? No. Thank God. Then good. I'm happy. I don't like Redfall when it came out, right? I don't like it. I didn't want to buy it. It was garbage. I tried it on Game Pass and I did not fucking like it and I didn't purchase it. End of story. I moved the fuck on. Same thing for PlayStation. There's some games on PlayStation that's going to be a great hit and it's going to be a big fucking miss. That's okay. But at the end of the day, PlayStation should be following the same fucking steps as fucking Xbox. Put out games that people want to fucking play. Give them what they want. Give them what they need to play. They don't got shit. Yes, you got cinematics. That's cool, bro. You got cinematic games in the background. Make a fun multiplayer game. Give us fun games for gamers on the PlayStation platform to fucking play. That's the real fucking issue. PlayStation ain't shit because they don't got nothing fun to play. They don't got no games to even compete with the Xbox, let alone multiplayer. Y'all guys needs to wake the fuck up with this. I'm telling you. Y'all guys gotta wake up. Anything. Everything they say comes back to bite them in the ass. They can't, they can't say any definitive statements because everything they say, every time they try to lead, they'll try to say, hey, we're gonna talk about this. They don't talk about that. They'll say, hey, it's, oh, it won't be these games and it end up being these games. Like, we don't, I can't speak for the Xbox community. I don't trust Xbox. I don't trust them. I if you don't trust them, then too bad. Who cares? Phil Spencer don't fucking care about you either. Just like this. He does he does Phil Spencer care about me? No. Do I expect him to care for me? No. He's running a business. He's doing what he gotta do. Let me let me hear what Phil gotta say about the PlayStation this. announcement. Obviously, let's, let's hear last what he spring, gotta say. We launched four games, two of them on the Switch, four of them on PlayStation, and we yeah, so they basically launched four games on two on the Switch, two on there, which is fine. I didn't care. Is that, does this is something that hurts my feelings? No. They launching games on other platforms. Does, does, does this hurt my platform? Because I, oh, they launched the game on there. Okay, so since they launched those games on here, wait, 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 let's, let's look this up. So they launched the game and they shut down the studio, right? So let's just check for a minute. Let's let's go check. Oh, hold on. Hi. Let's see. Oh, Hi-Fi Rush is still here. It's still here. Yeah, so Hi-Fi Rush is still here on this platform. So this game hasn't they did they didn't took the game off of Game Pass, right? They didn't took the game off of the storefront, right? So it's still here. Right? I can still click on it, right? Oh, and I can still buy the game too. Look, look, there's a buy button. I can I can buy the game or I can install the game to play. It's still here. They released the game on the PlayStation 5 platform. Okay. So who owns the IP of Hi-Fi Rush? Do, do, do Microsoft owns the IP? Maybe. I'm not sure. Or the studio owns it. I don't know. But the game is still on here, right? It's still on Game Pass. It's doing just fine. High Fire Rush is still here. It, ha it hasn't it hasn't gone away. Let's 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 check for a minute. Let's check another game. What was it? Sea of Thieves. Right? Did that did that go on away? Did that went away? I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure um that I just want to make sure that y'all guys look so fucking stupid because of the fact that this is ridiculous. Y'all bitches are crying about some bullshit. For no fucking reason. Okay, here it is. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. It's still on here. I can still buy this game. It's still on Xbox Game Pass. And I'm pretty sure, most likely, you can definitely purchase this on Steam as well, right? We we can we can post it up on here. Do I have to prove something? But let's put down this. See. Oh, there it is. Look misspelling shit look at this see at these right here oh huh. so i could i could still buy the game right here i i could get the 
package info i get you know whatever i can get the bundle pack or i can just buy the game stand alone so okay so they gave to so i can still buy this game i can still purchase this game there it is so i i can still play this game they didn't they didn't took it off the steam store they didn't took it off of the microsoft store or the windows store they didn't took off the game pass it's still there so they basically said let's just port these four games over to the playstation platform big fucking deal am i gonna fucking lose sleep at night should i wake up the next day and be like oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh no see it is oh bro stop with this cut this fucking bullshit out bro Cut this fucking garbage ass bullshit out. Crying over four fucking games. Four games that's going over to the PlayStation 5 platform. As a real gamer and like everyone else and like a real Xbox fan, who cares? I don't care. We, we still got the game and we played it and we already had all that shit. We good. Said Keep we're talking, learn. Phil. We said we'd watch. I, I think it showcased, I might have said, from our learning, we're going to do more. Mm -hmm. What I yep from their learning they're gonna do more and guess what guess what they are out they are out performing fucking concord concord is supposed to be this playstation first party hero shooter title this should be a big title remember i was hearing about those playstation fucking fanboys was saying yo man yo playstation Man, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. They be dropping bangers after bangers after bangers after bangers. What 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 bangers are we fucking talking about? Concord, Astrobot, those are fucking above a choke. They haven't been dropping bangers. Oh well, they 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 drop God of War Ragnarok. So what? They drop God of War Ragnarok. Big fucking deal. Whoopie do. We know about God of War Ragnarok. That's cool. That's fine. That's a triple A game. Okay, next. Uh uh. uh uh horizon you know horizon forbidden west yeah that's been ported over to the fucking playstation 4 platform and it's being poured over to pc just the same same thing as god of war ragnarok it's being ported over to the pc just like the god of war 2018 been ported over to pc and i'm pretty sure it was on the playstation 4 as well just like horizon forbidden west and just like horizon zero dawn was on the playstation 4 platform got ported over to the playstation 5 and it's being ported over to the pc Ghost of Tsushima is, was on the PlayStation 4, was ported over to the PlayStation 5, and now is being ported over to the PC. So these games are being ported over to PC. On another platform. It's not exclusive anymore. Right? Like, right? Just like Xbox is doing the same thing. You don't see me crying about it. I, I, I never cried about it see when i look is our franchises are getting stronger our xbox console players are as high this year as they've ever been amazing so i look at it and i say okay our player numbers are going up for the console platform our franchises are as strong as they've ever been and we run a business like it's definitely you hear that word key word we run a business they running a business they're there to make fucking money so they're porting shit over to the PlayStation 5. If it was such a garbage game, just like how Creamcast guy face said, it's no point of getting an Xbox because all these games sucks. They fail. They don't know what they're doing. And all these games are trash. They don't want to. But they're porting over Sea of Thieves that is outperforming and kicking fucking Concourse ass. What does that fucking tell you? And you got to pay the game. It's like what? Like how much... How much that fucking game costs? Hold, hold on, let's look on the Steam. How much that game costs on original? It is forty fucking dollars. They're getting more player numbers on the PlayStation fucking five. Listen to me. Open up your fucking ears. Come close. Let me tell you something. It's cost forty fucking dollars, just like fucking Concord. And guess what? They got more players playing Sea of Thieves that cost 40 fucking dollars than your measly fucking launch title of Concord that's only 600 players on the PC. That costs how much again? $40. A hero shooter title. 
is getting their ass kicked by Sea of Thieves, that a game that I don't give a fuck about. You, you guys gotta stop. This, this bullshit right here, you guys gotta stop. If you like Sea of Thieves, I don't got a problem with people. You like it, you wanna play it, that's for you. I'm speaking from my perspective. But I'm giving you the fucking reality. That even in my own perspective, that I don't give a fuck about this game. And yet, I'm looking at the big fucking picture. The fact that it's getting their ass kicked. And this is the same price as fucking Concord. And you're get, and they're getting more player numbers on there? Of course Phil is going to put more fucking games on your fucking platform. Because you know why? Because you ain't got shit. You got nothing. You got nothing to compete. I've been telling this shit from three years ago. PlayStation should have been doing what? Making an open world racing game to compete with who? With fucking Forza Horizon 5. Y'all motherfuckers was like, PlayStation, let me let me get this right. Oh no, they don't need to do that. They already got um Gran Turismo 7. It's outperforming. Fucking blah 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 blah. Really? Yeah? Oh, okay. I love I love to hear that when Forza Horizon 5 comes right towards your PlayStation 5 console, I guarantee you it's going to be even more numbers than fucking that Sea of Thieves game, and I guarantee you that it's going to outperform what what game did you have on there? You said you said it was Gran Turismo 7 is very successful. It's a PlayStation, you know, driving simulator game. I guarantee you that game is going to outperform that shit. I promise you that's 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 not that's not even that's not even a bet it's already it's already locked it's already done and done soon as that game drop on there it's going to outperform fucking Gran Turismo 7 I don't need I don't even need statistics for that fucking number I don't need statistics for that number it is going to outperform that fucking game any day of the week I promise you, because all those fucking casual people that's on that PlayStation 5 platform that brought a PlayStation 5, you know what they're playing? Sea of Thieves, Fallout 4, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, free-to-play games. They're playing more games on Xbox and other third-party titles than what title? Oh, wait, instead of... PlayStation first party title games. They they're playing more third party and Xbox titles than their own fucking first party exclusives. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Ain't that a bitch? I thought PlayStation was better. I thought PlayStation had games. I thought PlayStation had multiplayer. I thought all these motherfucking grifters on YouTube was so called was telling me that man that PlayStation platform is amazing. It's amazing and it's getting outperformed by fucking Sea of Thieves that cost 40 fucking dollars. Mm hmm. And like Phil said, it's a fucking business. That's his business. And I'm an Xbox fan and I'm just here to do what? I'm only here to care about these games. That's all I care about. I'm getting a Starfield DLC, still playing Starfield. You don't fucking believe me. Hold on, let me put. Let me put this down for you. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Here's the games that I have installed. I only got four games, but hey, I'm enjoying these four games. See, Cyberpunk 2077, Forza Horizon 5, Starfield, and the First Ascended, a free-to-play game. I have more games, but look, those are the four that I'm currently fucking with right now that I'm playing and I'm enjoying. Four. And then when those other games start to come out, which we already see, like, let's open this up. Starfield DLC, that's going to be coming. I'm going to be playing on that. I don't give a fuck about Hellblade 2. That's not my game, right? And now, right, and Forza Motorsport, that's not my game. I don't care because I already got Forza Horizon 5. I'm, I play more of that than this game. I don't care about that. When a Valve comes out, that'll be 2025, I'll be playing that. Indiana Jones in the Great Circle, I'll be playing that regardless. Even if it comes on to the PlayStation 5 four, six months later, who gives a fuck? I'm going to be playing it first on where on my pc right playstation got what silent hill whatever remake and it's coming to exclusively on the playstation console and on the pc right it's skipping xbox for how long i don't know how long 
is it a time exclusive? Maybe. We gotta wait and see. Other than that, I don't care because guess what? I'm gonna be playing it on the PC. If I truly care about Silent Hill 2 Remake, I'll play it on the PC. It doesn't matter. I'm just here to play the games. They got something that I want to play, I'll play it on the PC. Perfectly fine. Not losing sweat off of my back. But what if you was a console player? A console player. You got games right here that they're already delivering. Games that are already delivering on the Xbox game. They putting, they putting out games. They're dropping games on Game Pass. They're putting out first party exclusive title. Stay humble. Eat your damn supper. Because half of y'all motherfuckers probably didn't even play all of these games. I bet you none of y'all even play half of these games. So don't even try to act like, oh, I played this game. I played this game. That's a fucking lie. Just like this, it's just like the same as those PlayStation fucking fanboys. Oh, I play every... Get the fuck out of here. Only a handful of y'all only play this title, this title, and that title. You didn't play every fucking PlayStation title game. That's only for like a real PlayStation fan. A real PlayStation fan play every title. They don't fucking sit there and cry about it. They say, yo, I'm going to get this game. I'm going to play it. They don't fucking brag about it. They fucking be about it. Me, I'm only playing certain titles because I know myself. This is what I'm going to play. This is what I like. This is what I like to play. This is what I'm going to do. I don't go around hopping on the fucking bandwagon like everyone else. I got to hop on the bandwagon. Got to hop on this because they're, they're, that's the hottest shit. Let me hop on his shit. No, I'm not here to hop on bandwagons and dick riding on people. I'm just going to play the games that I enjoy. And whatever you enjoy, if you enjoy High Five Rush, go and play the game. That's your business. Nobody ain't stopping you from playing it. Go and play it. But it's like, come on, bro. Like, look, the games is right here. Where's the roadmap for PlayStation? Fucking ridiculous, bro true inside of microsoft the bar is high for us in terms of the the bar is high that means that here i lend you out this money now you gotta pay us back make us some money delivery that we have to give back to make us some make us a profit give us a profit we need we lend you this money we let you spend on the abk deal and all this shit now guess what i need that money back so you need to start showing me how to make a profit got to show me some numbers and this is what they're doing and that's fine that's what they got to do to the company because we get a level of support from the company that's just amazing and what yeah level of support that means that they lend you out some money saying here's a blank check go spend whatever you need to do we'll give you lawyers and all this shit and once this all said and done and the dust settles now you gotta owe us and make that money back tenfold chop chop because guess what? If you was in that situation and they fucking told your fucking ass, we gave you a blank check. Uh, how are you going to make this money back? You better make it money, make our money back by the, by the next couple of years. Because if not, guess what? Your ass is going to be out the door. You're going to get the fucking boot. Okay. Because I, I don't hear, I don't hear nobody can't. I bet you, I bet you to God. Anybody that wants to think that, oh man, running a CEO is fucking easy. It's fucking easy. Yeah, I, I like to see you fucking try. I like to see you try to make all that fucking money back. Try coming up with, what, six, what, 69 billion fucking dollars. Try to come up with that in the next two fucking years. How could you come up with that type of money? How would you come up with that I guarantee y'all motherfuckers don't even know. And guess what? I don't even know either. I'm going to be honest. As a real fan, uh, as a real Xbox fan, I'm going to tell you this shit right now. I wouldn't even fucking know. I wouldn't even have a fucking clue where to start. I'll tell you one thing. That's, that's for damn sure. But Phil's knows and Phil is running a business. It's a business. They got to make money. And I don't blame them because guess what? I work at a job in a corporation. If we don't make money, guess what? We're going to get laid off, right? That That's how it's going to be. It's, if we don't make money in this company, guess what? Then my black ass get laid off. That means if I get laid off, I can't 
pay bills. I can't do this. I can't drive. I can't whatever. I can't play games. I can't buy any games because I got laid the fuck off. I got to look for me another job. Right? To make some type of money or some type of income. That's why these businesses are in the business of what? Making money. Keep the lights on. Keep people to work. Get people a job and security. That's why That's why we, we do this. But again, they, they're in the business of what? Making money. They don't want to lose a customer. They don't want to make money. Because if they don't want to make money, they could have just got out of the business altogether. This shit is not fucking free. Just because you play a free to play game, that doesn't mean it's fucking free. You still got to pay as some type of fucking money. Microtransaction, this, that, a battle pass, doesn't fucking matter. A skin, a character, a gun, or a weapon. You're going to be paying for something. You're paying it. You're paying for it. You want the live service to continue? You want Fortnite to continue with updates? That's why they put battle pass and microtransactions. It ain't fucking free. They get you to do what? They come in and you play the game and you're enjoying it and you want more content. Here, you got to pay for this. You want this skin? You got to pay for it. It costs fucking money. Gaming costs money. Any hobby, no matter which, no matter what hobby it can be, it can be fucking skateboarding to fucking modeling, like, you know, like doing like model cars, Gundam modeling. It can be as simple as fucking music. It costs fucking money. It costs money. Yes. Making music is not fucking free. Because if you want the good shit. And you want music. And you want options to do stuff. You got to pay the big bucks. Got to. It, it costs money. You want. You want these drum sets. Whatever. You want these like drum samples and shit. That shit costs money. It ain't fucking free. No matter if it's digital or physical items. Skateboarding. Costs money. Right? You, you got a skateboard? Cool. You want to buy another board? It costs money. You want new roller, you want new roller, whatever the roller things? You want it to be more smoother, more easier, you want it to be like this, then it costs money. And you're gonna put it together yourself or you're gonna pay somebody to do it. It fucking costs money. It's not fucking free. We're able to go do. So I look at this, how can we make our games as strong as possible? Our platform continues to grow both on console, on PC and on cloud. Did and I think it's just going to be a strategy that works for us. And the last thing I'll probably say is I think as an industry right now, there's like there's a lot of pressure on the industry. It's been growing for a long time and now people are looking for ways to grow. And I think the wait, 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 you hear that? They're looking for ways to grow. What? you don't think PlayStation ain't doing the same shit? Oh, PlayStation, they're, they're, they're so wonderful. They're so good. They're so innocent. They always with the, they always with the console gamers. It was, what's their best interest. They're, they're so amazing. They will never, ever, ever disrespect the console gamer. They'll never, ever do that. They, they want to grow too. Naturally, all this fucking garbage shit. They're doing the same shit. They're putting their games on the fucking PC platform. What are you talking about? Do I have to show you again? Let's, let's type in PlayStation again. Because y'all motherfuckers just think like, oh, they're not. They're porting games over to PC. They got Concord on PC and people is not even buying it or playing it. Look at this. Until Dawn, a single player game. Remake. $60. Coming in October 4th. It's coming to where? PC. It's not on the PlayStation 5 exclusively on there. They're porting games where? On the PC to do what? To fucking grow. They're doing the same shit. Like, what? Hold on. Let's. What where's that get? Oh, look, look, look. Lego Horizon. Lego Horizon, a PlayStation title that these fucking fanboys was damage controlling like fucking king fucking trash. Say, oh, that's not a that's not that's not a PlayStation title. Da, 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 all this bullshit. Look, Lego Horizon is right here. It's coming to the PC, PlayStation, and guess what? The Nintendo Switch. 
The Latendo Switch. Hello. You don't think they're fucking do they're doing the same shit too. Except for they just don't want to put the games on the Xbox. They're probably going to sit there and say, if we put the games on the Xbox, nobody's going to, nobody's not going to really coming over to the PlayStation 5. That's why we don't want to put our first party title games on the Xbox. We're going to put it on any other platform except for the Xbox. And Xbox are saying, man, we are, we got third party publishing. We got this, this, and that. Man, we're making money, man. Let's show them we can give them a run for their money because they ain't got no fucking multiplayer games to compete with. So basically, they can just say, oh, we've seen and we learned from it. And it seems like those PlayStation fucking wannabe so-called fanboys that are so diehard about PlayStation and dick riding them. That the fact that Sea of, sea of Thieves is outperforming Concord almost damn near fucking 5 to 1. <laughs> for real. Shit, almost 10 to 1 at this point. They, they, they're nowhere near close. A Sea of Thieves level. In terms of player numbers and people buying the game for $40. Just like Concord cost it $40. And they're buying it. And they're playing it. And they're enjoying it. And they're probably buying what again? Oh, they're buying DLC. Right? For Sea of Thieves. They're buying DLC. They're buying the, they're buying the packs. They're, they're buying it. I know they are. Most of those people, oh, they're buying it. But but what about PlayStation? What's PlayStation title game? What's going on? They're not making numbers like Sea of Thieves. What's going on? Because guess what? They don't want to play that garbage. They want to play fun multiplayer games to play on the PlayStation 5 platform. And they don't got it. They got cinematic games. They don't got fun games to play. And they don't even have multiplayer games that are fun to play. But Hell Divers, Hell Divers, what happened to Hell Divers when they just restricted, restricted fucking people from playing the fucking game? I thought they was in the business of making money, but it seems to me PlayStation is not in the fucking nowhere near room of any business to make money. But they're trying. Oh, they're fucking trying. They know they step on some fucking toes and step on some brakes. The only smart decision I see, they made that Lego Horizon going to be on the Latendo Switch so they can make that money. Because y'all motherfuckers on that platform ain't enough. And y'all motherfuckers are just grifters on there because guess what? Sea of Thieves is doing excellent. So that's why that Phil Spencer said, yeah, we see and we learn and we see these PlayStation fucking fanboys are willing to buy and play you know, Xbox title games, even though we saw all their fucking garbage ass people on Twitter saying they'll never buy a uh, uh, Xbox title game. Those Xbox games are trash. Stay away from them. They're bad for you. Ooh, all this fucking bullshit. But in reality, guess what? None of you motherfuckers don't matter because they still buying the fucking game and they're playing it. Hello. Do I need to say any more? Come on, bro. Stop this. Stop this. Stop this. Come on, bro. Phil has already said enough. They're looking ways to grow. PlayStation doing the same shit, too. What do you got to say about that, kids? Xbox, move? Xbox has said they're going to have a console uh, next generation. I don't actually believe that. I don't think Xbox is going to make a console next generation. Look, who cares? Look, if they're going to make a console generation, I'm pretty sure they already said they're going to make it. I'm pretty sure they're going to do it. I think they already said that. And you saying you don't trust them? Why? Because they're putting Indiana Jones, a licensed IP that PlayStation really just don't give a fuck about. They don't give a fuck. Oh my God. I do not believe that. I won't be surprised in the next six months to 12 months that Microsoft comes out with announcements and uh, announced that they're suspending all sales of Xbox and they're going to give Xbox, existing Xbox customers, a voucher to buy a PlayStation. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> what the fuck is this clown is thinking, bro? They're going to give out a voucher? They're gonna, yo, motherfucker, if they gave me a voucher tomorrow, if Xbox gave me a voucher tomorrow, bitch, I'll rip that shit up, toss that shit up in the air, and tell, them, uh, and tell that shit, kiss my natural black ass. I am not going to no fucking PlayStation with their garbage-ass platform. <laughs> Hell no. 
Hell no. If I had a choice, I'm sticking with Xbox. Period. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. That's a real Xbox fan. Even though I may not like everything what they do, but all I care about is, are they developing games? Yes. Are they making games for me? Yes. Are they making games for other people as well? On the Xbox platform? Yes. So therefore, I'm fucking Gucci. Are they, did they said that I don't have to have to buy a console, right? I can play my games on the PC, right? Yes. I got Game Pass on PC, right? Yes. I got Game Pass on the console, right? Yes. And if you don't like it, then guess what? You can just uninstall the fucking thing. You don't have to have Game Pass. If you don't want the game, you don't have to you don't have to fucking, you know, download it. If you don't want to buy it, you don't have to buy it. Buy the games that you enjoy. I'm enjoying the games that what I'm getting. I got four fucking games right there and Stalker 2 is coming. I'm fucking Gucci. What the fuck? I'm set. I'm good. Xbox has already delivered what they need to deliver. I want them to make games for everyone to play and enjoy. And they're delivering it. And they're delivering games on what? They're delivering fun games and games that I want to fucking play. Thank you. Is PlayStation doing that? Hell no. And this fucking dude is smoking crack like they're going to put a voucher and shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I won't about? be surprised if they did that. Because that's how... That's how low they are. That's how... That's how low they are? That's how low they are? Oh my god. Kiss Smooth, you need to stop fucking talking right now, bro. Because, like, yo, this is why... This is why you are stuck on 12, 12 something whatever K subscribers. And it, and the reason why it ain't going up because you keep saying stupid shit. Like you said the most dumbest shit ever. Like you're just not waking up and seeing what's going on. You're still holding on to the past and acting like, yo, they got to do something like in the past. But bro, it's 2024, man. They're not going back into the past and pulling out the same old playbook. It's time to do something different. <sighs> so fucking self destructive bro. they are. They did that with Mixer. They gave everybody a voucher to go to freaking Facebook or Twitch. <laughs> they gave everybody about all that hard work people put in. Into their yeah, well, that's Xbox brought a stupid whatever, whatever. So it's not my fucking money. I'm not paying for a fucking Mixer and shit. That's none of my business. Who cares? Just like this, Phil Spencer is not my fucking daddy. He ain't your fucking daddy either. He ain't your fucking uncle. He ain't giving you fucking this and that and all this fucking money. He is a human being. He's there working with a corporation. They're there to make money. They're not your fucking friends. Everybody should know that. I already know that. They're not like, again, Phil Spencer is not my friend. Just like Phil, just like Xbox and Microsoft are not my friends. Is Apple's my friend? Apple's not my friend. Amazon is not my friend. Netflix is not my friend. All these motherfuckers are there to do what? They're there to run the business to do what? To make fucking money. Right? But they got to deliver on products and stuff so people can buy and watch or whatever they need to do. And Xbox is delivering on that front. They're delivering games that I want to fucking play that I'm enjoying. I don't give a fuck what Phil has to say this and this and that. That's none of my fucking business. I don't care. They're not my friends. They was never my friends to begin with. I don't got Phil Spencer fucking number. And even if I did, what do you want me to do? Call him up and say, yo, man, this is bad. Bro, I'm going to act like fucking Tim Dog crying like a bitch. All this bullshit. Fucking crying like a bitch. Like, kill, like what? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not crying like no bitch. Like Tim Dog. Gonna be sitting there. St oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is, ugh. Their mixer accounts, they send our asses to uh, Fuck. I hate these the fucking like, people, hey, you know what? We can't do it because we suck. We're going to turn. We're going to get. No, no. Kiss move. You are fucking suck. You trash. You're trash. You're nothing but a fucking fanboy and a dick writer. Stop fucking dick writing. Get off of Phil Spencer dick. Get off of fucking these PlayStation fanboys dick. And enjoy gaming. Just enjoy it. 
play the games that you want to play. I'm enjoying it. Everybody's enjoying it because guess what? Nobody gives a fuck about this console war nonsense. It's fucking nonsense. Y'all think like PlayStation has the best interest in fucking heart. You know what? Fuck it. Let me pull out the video right now because this is going to destroy that fucking argument once and for all. Okay, let me pull out the video right here. We're going to put it side by side comparison. I want you to watch these videos carefully. Look at on the right. This is nine years ago, going on 10 years ago. This is PlayStation during the PlayStation 4 generation. This is Xbox right now with the Amazon Fire Stick. This is happens a month ago. You know what PlayStation was trying to do from fucking like 10 years ago? Before even Xbox even done it. Guess who done it first? It wasn't Xbox. It was PlayStation. Look, they had PlayStation TV from fucking 10 years ago. You thought, oh man, they got the con. They, they're, PlayStation got. PlayStation always keep those players and the console players in their hearts. They always care about you. They they want they they want to make sure that the console generation is growing, and stuff. And we will always deliver on the PlayStation console. Look at this shit. Ten years ago. Ten fucking years ago. Ten fucking years ago. Bro, any if anybody who doesn't have a fucking brain cell. Look, they got a PlayStation V. Oh my god. This is like basically before even Amazon Fire Stick was even a fucking thing. PlayStation had the PlayStation TV. And guess what? You didn't need a PlayStation fucking 4 to play the fucking games because you could play it on the PlayStation TV, a device that they fucking have way before even the fucking Amazon Fire Stick. This happens 10 years ago. And you telling me PlayStation has the best interest in heart? They was just as much as ready to destroy the console brand right now that you fucking claiming that, oh man, you know, Amazon with this Fire Stick TV, they're destroying the Xbox brand, they're destroying this. PlayStation was already was destroying their own fucking brand during 10 years ago. Wake up! When the fuck is y'all gonna wake the fuck up? Wake the fuck up! Are you serious? What you gonna say about that? What you gonna say about that? Oh, they, they, they want... Look at the commercial! Look! The same bullshit from 10 years ago. Look at what Xbox did. They took that idea and they just said, Well, we don't have to make our own little fucking key lock, whatever the fuck, project, whatever the fuck it was. We don't have to make our own little streaming stick. We can just leverage right off of what, uh, with who? Amazon, Amazon Fire Stick. We could just put our app on the Amazon Fire Stick and put our cloud save. Boom, we're set. They was doing the same shit from 10 years ago. Kiss Move, what do you got to say about that? Are you fucking retarded? I remember when they did this whole like, oh, Xbox put in cloud gaming. They putting it on this one, that one. They're destroying the brand. PlayStation was already was been destroying their brand from fucking 10 years ago. What happened to them now? Right? They built this foundation. They had Gaikai. They got the PlayStation TV. They had all of this shit was ready to go way before even Xbox or Microsoft was even attempting right now in 2020 fucking four. They did this 10 years ago. Look at what Xbox is doing, what they, what PlayStation is not doing from 10 years ago. They're doing the same exact shit. It's my, look, look at it. It's mind blowing side by side. Y'all can't say shit. Y'all motherfuckers can't say shit about that. What you gonna say? I bet you, what Dark Duck is gonna say about that? What is he gonna say about that? Oh yeah, PlayStation got the best interest in in our in the console fan base and everything else. 
Meanwhile, they from like 10 years ago, they had a PlayStation TV and you didn't need a PlayStation fucking 4 because you could play your fucking games on the PlayStation TV on this streaming device that cost it, what, $80? Put it in your house or anywhere around your fucking house and you could play PlayStation 4 titles. You could even play PlayStation Vita. This is the time when they had the PlayStation fucking handheld, the Vita. You could play the Vita games on the PlayStation TV. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. This was PlayStation from 10 years ago. Look at what Xbox is doing right now. What they're, what they're taking their ideas. 10 years ago. This, and, and look, and Xbox is successful. The cloud saving is successful. The Amazon Fire Stick is successful. They didn't need to do, they didn't, they don't need a VR headset. Guess what they did? All they said was, oh yeah, let's go talk to Meta, talk to Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, can we put our Xbox Game Pass on your uh, Meta Quest 3 headset? Oh yeah, sure. You could do that. Go right ahead. PlayStation had to do what? They got to make a whole VR headset. And guess what? The VR headset ain't selling, ain't fucking selling that's why they're doing what they're making a cord to connect it to the pc so you'll be able to play your playstation vr headset on the pc because if it was selling and it was if the playstation vr 2 was selling and it was that fucking successful then they wouldn't have to use a special cable or whatever firmware update to be compatible with the pc to play it on there they would have been fine with just the PlayStation 5. But you see, they're not fucking selling. And it's collecting dust on the shelf. So they got to do something. And Xbox, what they did was, nah, we don't need to build a fucking headset. All we just need to do is put our app on there. That's it. It's simple. Game Pass on MetaQuest 3. You see, this is this is why it makes you fucking console players look these console fucking fanboys and these fucking grifters. This is the type of videos that I'm making you guys look fucking stupid. 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 You didn't even fucking realize that. Think about it for a minute. What if this was what if what if before even Xbox did any of this type of bullshit over here? What what if this right here? didn't even exist and this was right here what you gonna be saying then what you gonna be saying then oh playstation is doing great well playstation got an app they i don't need to go out there and buy a playstation 5 what what you gonna say that's great that's excellent we don't we don't need a playstation 5 console because all we have to do is just buy the playstation tv and we can play all of our games on the playstation tv so what's what's the point of me going out there buying a console What's the point of me buying a PlayStation 5 if they're porting games over to where? On the PC. Think about it for a minute. If, if, this, is, if, this, if this Xbox Fire Stick didn't even exist in any of the shit that they're doing, and this was PlayStation doing, what you what the conversation going to be like? The same shit? Or let me guess. No, no, no. Let me guess. You're going to dick ride for, for PlayStation and say, man, PlayStation is so amazing. Yeah, we got consoles, even though consoles are going away. But fuck it. Hey, let's go. it's all good. They pour in games over to PC. They got an app. They got all this shit, right? We don't, we don't, need, a, we don't need a PlayStation 5, right? We're no, we're all good. Everything is Gucci. Everything is fine. Everything is peachy. Seriously. Seriously. Like, like look. You can see it for yourself. Look. You can see it for yourself. You can see it right here, right now. All this bullshit right here. You can see it. You know about it. What Kiss Move is gonna say about that, huh? What what you gonna what how you gonna how you gonna counter argument this shit? Look, 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 Lego movie, right? Lego Horizon is going to be coming. Imagine Lego Horizon is on the PlayStation TV. That you can have access to Lego Horizon on a PlayStation TV and you didn't need to buy a PlayStation 5 console and they're porting games over to the PC. 
what's the conversation going to be like? Oh man, they got their best interest in heart for the console gamer? They were setting up this shit from fucking 10 years ago. And you guys are complaining because Xbox is doing it now? Xbox is doing it now in 2024. This was y'all from 10 years ago on the PlayStation 4. You was basically was going down the same fucking road. A little bit different, a little, little slightly off the path, but it's still the same fucking road you was going down to. They was basically going down to the same fucking path. Two different ways, but guess what? It's both going to head towards the same direction where it's going to go. Same direction. Ain't that some shit? I love, I will love, I will love to hear what these fucking fanboys got, got to say about that. I will love to hear that. I love to hear what the Xbox and the, and the PlayStation fucking fanboys got to say something about that. All those fucking fake ass PlayStation fanboys that's like crying with all this bullshit and Tim Dog and all their fucking garbage gahoonies. Fucking say something about that. What, what you got to say about that? Shit right here is this is why I bring shit up to clap back because your ass don't know shit. I bet you none of y'all motherfuckers didn't even realize that. They're like, oh shit. Damn, I forgot. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. Eh? PlayStation didn't have our best heart in fucking console game. They was doing the bait. This right here, they was basically doing almost the same shit what Xbox is doing right now. No shit, Sherlock's. Fucking retarded. Look at this shit. Walk away with our tails tucked between our legs. And we're going to turn this into a duopoly that we're later going to try to fight back to get back in. Even though we had an opportunity when we were in it. They give up. They bow out. They quit. Let Apple and Google beat the shit out of us. And now they want to come back. Oh, it's unfair. We can't get our stuff. That's what you get for quitting. That still with this console war fucking nonsense that Phil Spencer, Jim Bryan and everyone else at fucking PlayStation, Matt Booty, Sarah Bond, do not give a fuck about none of y'all. It's what you get for quitting. Quitting and about what? That's why I'm ready. When are y'all going to quit like fucking crying like a baby bitch? When is when is that going to happen? That's the way I'm reacting. When Xbox, I feel like Microsoft will eventually quit gaming to the point the, the port, uh, console gaming. And there's going to be a time and you know what they're going to quit and, and the console gaming is going to take off again and it's going to be a duopoly and then Microsoft is going to have a struggle to get back in. Now, I just like again, I'm tired of him. I'm going to be moving on after it, but I just wanted to get Point this shit out again. Remember, this happens from nine years ago, 10 years ago. They had a Gaikai, a streaming, whatever, cloud-based gaming. They had that. They had PlayStation Vita, which it was the handheld, whatever, right? They had a PlayStation TV where you would even needed a PlayStation 4 to play PlayStation Vita games on there. And you could play also PlayStation 3 titles. And I think you can also play or stream even PlayStation 4 console from upstairs in your living room all the way downstairs to the PlayStation TV. So therefore, they was working their way to like to the point where you didn't even need to buy a PlayStation 4. Even the PlayStation 4 price was like, what, $400 at that time? And they even saying from nine years ago, you don't even need a PlayStation 4 to play PlayStation title games. You can just buy this PlayStation TV. Right? So they had so they had a console, they had cloud streaming, they had PlayStation TV, a streaming device that was competing with what? With the Amazon Fire Stick right now that Xbox is doing. They had what? They had Oh yeah, the PlayStation the PlayStation Vita, which is a handheld device, which today, right now, guess what? Handheld devices, they're coming back. Steam Deck, right? Rogue, the Rogue, the um, the Legion Go handheld. All these handhelds are starting to come out the woodwork. Where's PlayStation handheld? That sorry ass PlayStation Portal. They want a Vita, not a Portal. This shit was happening from like ten years ago. 
they was going down the same path just what xbox is doing right now and you telling me that xbox is going to be gone and whatever what if the what if, like again what if playstation was doing this and not xbox they're doing all the same shit man let me move the fuck on after this bro let me real quickly talk about this shit right here bro knowing that knowing that these both of these fucking platforms right they're both doing the same shit xbox and microsoft laying off and shutting down studios bungie is laying off shutting down some studios right they're both doing the same bullshit they're both doing the same garbage that it's it's ridiculous right and the reason why look man the reason why i had to leave that playstation platform from like what the last game that i ever played oof, i don't know if it was like i think it was grand theft auto 3 or it was the getaway or it was something else but the last game i ever played on that playstation 2 that was the last whatever game it was that was the last that was it after playstation 2 i left the reason why I left from the PlayStation 2 is because of the fact that, look, going back from the PlayStation 2, when they shut down studios like London Studios that have been around for well over 20 years, 20 plus years, and they made the getaway game, a game that I love, that I like, and I said, man, this is why I got a PlayStation. I'm excited. I want to keep playing this game. This game is so badass. I can see the potential in this game. This game can definitely can compete. Definitely Max Payne and other games as well, even today's time. Max Payne, it, it could definitely compete with Max Payne. It could compete with a lot of good game. Like, but PlayStation, you know what they did? They said, no, we're going to cancel the next whatever getaway game. We're going to cancel it. We're not going to make it. This and this and that. And that's why I never came back after the PlayStation 2. When they started to go into where? The PlayStation 3. Because it was no point of me getting the PlayStation 3 knowing that they already canceled the getaway and they got them doing stupid shit. This is why the whole reason why I got the PlayStation and I played it is because of games like this. When I see potential in the game and I see the quality of the game and I see how good the game is, I can see this being this really really like like can really bring playstation up i want playstation to succeed i want playstation to make money i want i want fun games i want games that are enjoyable games that are that i can sit there and say damn man i'm really looking forward to this this is this is why i get this because of this game or this is why i get this because of this game and they don't got it no more they don't got it like that in the playstation 2. it's very sad to see I was hoping if they did can do a remake of it or something. And now that is that is done. It's it's sad. It's very sad for me. It hurts me. Because this is a this is a game that I can look up to. This is a game that I was looking forward to, that I want to play, that I would like to play, that I want to enjoy playing. And it's not going to happen. And PlayStation London Studio closed down. That hurts. It hurts me. It's like, damn, bro. And they locking up all of these great IPs and locking them away and not doing a damn thing about it. That's why, that's another reason why I don't come back to the PlayStation platform. They're locking away IPs knowing that these IPs are good. These are great AAA titles that definitely going to bring PlayStation back to the fold where they should be at to be in that competition. But these lackluster games and, and the cancellations of these studios and they don't even know what the fuck are they doing. And then I know a lot of people will say, well, well, Xbox, they shut down this and this and this and this and that. We'll get to that for a minute. We'll get to that. I get it. That shit hurts. We'll get to that. But this hurts even more because these are people like not just me and there's many others that have been waiting for well over 20 fucking years, 10 years, 15 years of like. Can we get like a remake of this game? Can we get something like this? Like the Mafia Definitive Edition? I want to go back and, and play some of these games and play a PlayStation title. 
this is what games was making me look forward to well since that's not happening i moved on and i said i'm, I'm skipping the console i i guess i'm gonna have to skip it i skipped playstation 3 generation i skipped playstation 4 generation currently in 2024 i'm skipping the playstation 5 generation definitely more than ever because even right now right even in a little bit of modern times look at this look at this a game a game that i that i sat there and said damn man ready at dawn with the order of 886 really reminds me of that that um that getaway title the getaway that i was looking forward to and stuff this is something like a game that damn i'm really looking forward to i want to see what they're going to do i want to see what improvements they can do this game got some fucking potential it really has a lot of potential and this 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 is this feels like how i felt from the playstation 2 generation this is how it, it, the same exact feeling of why i do not support the playstation platform this is why i do not want to even bother or even support this is exactly why because you can see that london studios shut down all those people got laid off the ip has been dormant for years they got them working on stupid shit like vr garbage while they should be making triple a titles but no and now we got another one right here in the PlayStation 4 generation that was so-called the greatest generation of all times, which it was way better. And I'm going to admit, it was way better than the Xbox One generation in terms of games. PlayStation 4 has the edge in that generation. See, as an Xbox fan, I got to admit to shit and, and look at the real shit what's going on. I'm not some blind idiot that's just going to bandwagon on every little thing or jump on or defend every little fucking thing. That's not me. I look at the big picture and I realize like, damn, Xbox One generation games wasn't that good at all. And PlayStation really delivered on games that people wanted to play. And it looked it really, really good and very promising. So I got to give credit where credit is due. The PlayStation 4 generation, hands down, belongs to them. In that generation, they, they got that. Hands down. There's no there's no if, ands, or buts. I'm still an Xbox fan regardless at the end of the day. But now, you see right now, that even so, fast forward, we're in the PlayStation 5 generation. We're four years into this console cycle. And yet, Ready at Dawn is shut down. Meta shut down Ready at Dawn that that made the order of 1886. That looked it absolutely fucking amazing. I was blown away. I was very impressed. I love the settings of it. It looked it really, really good. This was the definition of next generation gaming. This game right here was definitely was trying to push next generation gaming. I was thoroughly impressed. This is a game that I will 100%, I will love to play this game. And if I have to get a PlayStation 4 to play it, I will. But I'm not going to make one game on the PlayStation 4 console to just be the end all be all because if that's it, then there's no other games to really play. Like again, I can give three or four games that I can be playing on the PlayStation, well, on the Xbox, right? Right? Forza Horizon 5 during that time. I like Forza Horizon 5, right? Halo. I do like in Halo, and I do enjoy Halo. Gears of War. I do like Gears, and I do like Gears of War. Right? They had some other game exclusive. It wasn't that good. But even like Titanfall, that was an exclusive. I really enjoyed Titanfall. It was amazing. It was really good. I had a great time. Not every game is like it was a smash hit. But... That was like four games that I have versus what PlayStation 4 had, right? I wasn't really into like The Last of Us. I wasn't into Uncharted. I was really looking forward for new IPs. I, I liked the Order 1886. That looked at promising. Maybe, you know, and you could say Ghost of Tsushima as well. You know, those are two games. But then after those two games, it's only single player. 
It's not like I could play online or I can jump on there or give me a reason. Forza Horizon 5, that's a reason for me to keep jumping back online and keep playing it because I love racing. You know? So that's it. So that's why I'm still an Xbox fan regardless. Because they got a game that's fun for me to play and I got a reason to keep playing the game and keep going online and enjoying the game and playing it. But even so, even for a PlayStation title game, I was really, really hoping and looking forward to that. Damn, I hope they can buy this studio. I hope they can, you know, give this studio a chance and invest in some money and have them keep working on the next order of AT86, have them work on a sequel and stuff like that. And it, it this came out in 2013 and now they're gone. They sat there and said, I much rather buy fire sprite studio for fucking concord or i much rather spend something 300 and something billion or million whatever fucking dollars on fucking bungie which it was a total waste of fucking money while they should have been buying should be buying a studio like ready at dawn this should have been at a, a attached studio with uh with not naughty dog but you know fucking um the makers who did God of War, they should have been an attached studio to them. If they're not making God of War, they could be making this game. And it's, it's just really sad to see this. It's, it's so, so fucking sad to see. This is like, it, it was so impressive. And this hurts a lot of people. It hurts me too. This really does hurt. Because this really felt like how I felt when, when it was this game. When it was the getaway this 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 hurts me this is why i just i just can't go back i can't keep doing this shit anymore and and it goes to prove that even like three four years later or whatever um 10 10 years later whatever how many decades they still didn't do nothing with the ip and guess what they're gonna do the same thing for this one and look i'm not the only one man there's people in that comment section man wish they had a sequel wanted to have a sequel and you can see it for yourself ready at dawn when sony and playstation makes dope games such as this again i don't know i don't know i i hope so i want them to we need a sequel to we need a sequel place yes we do this is this is heartbroken this is heartbroken this is this is this really hurts me as a gamer because i see the game and i see the potential i see the enjoyment this is impressive this is so good this is like this is something like it's better than god of war better than horizon forbidden west better than those trash this was so much better and nick is you can see the potential in this shit like how amazing this can be Imagine this game was running on the PlayStation 5. This would be absolutely a, a, a killer game to get. But this it's just not it, Chief. Just not it. This game deserves a sequel. It has so much. It's, yes, it did. And I, I, I'm saying it too. He's saying, I'm saying it too because it does have potential. It really, really fucking do. And it hurts. It hurts me a lot. It really do. But then when you go to Xbox, right? And I know a lot of people say, well, they shut down four studios and da 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 Whatever, right? But you know why I'm still sticking with Xbox? That still give me some hope or some type of glimmer or hope or promise? Look at what they're doing with this game. Right? Forza Horizon 5, made by Playground, right? They made a racing game. Yes, they shut down Lionhead Studio a long fucking time ago. They shut it down. They said, man, fuck this. They shut it down. But you know why I still stick with Xbox and I'm still a fan of Xbox? It's because of shit that Phil Spencer is doing, I can respect. They sat there and said, you know what? Let's take this old IP that we have, which is Fable, right? 
and let's just give it to a studio that we already have which is playground games let them make it look look at this this is why i have so much respect for xbox this is why i have respect this is why i'm still a fan it's because of shit like this what they're doing they're saying we already have all these great ips and yes we may shut down the studio we may have this but we still own the ip but you know what they did they didn't sat there and said we're not gonna be like playstation just putting shit on the shelf saying fuck it we're gonna shelf it we don't care about it no more fuck fable nobody cares no they came out here and did what they said nah let's let's take this ip and let's give it to one of our studios that we already got that we already own hey playground games wants to do it okay let's give fable that franchise and let them and let them make an ip of fable and they're fucking doing it forza horizon 5 from playground games is known to be a racing studio and they're able to take the mantle and doing something completely fucking different and they're making fable come on man you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta sometimes you gotta admit to shit and you gotta open up your eyes and realize damn you know what i gotta get credit where credit is due xbox phil spencer yo i gotta get credit they didn't just shelves fucking fable they said no nah, let's give it to another studio even though the studio has no experience with an rpg game guess what they're fucking doing it and that right there alone that right there alone gives me hope that gives me hope that gives me something that wait all is not lost just because they shut down those fucking studios oh we may not get another evil within Yes, we may not get another Evil Within, maybe from this studio or whatever. But hey, somebody in in the in the play in the Xbox Studio team can take the mantle and say we can make an Evil Within game. We can do something else. We can do something with it, or we can license it out, give it to Kojima. Imagine, imagine Dale Kojima makes an Evil Within game. If they if Dale Kojima cannot make a Silent Hill game, remember that debacle and that fiasco? Right? With Konami, with Konami and all that bullshit. Imagine just saying, hey, we already got the IP of Evil Within. We're working with Kojima. What if we just gave him a pitch and just say, here, we can license out the IP of Evil Within if you want to do something with it? How fucking cool will that be? Instead of it being shelves on the fucking shelf. What about Dishonored? What if what if Bethesda took over this or even better yet, what if fucking Obsidian said, "Hey, we can do a Dishonored 3 or we can make a different Dishonored game. We can take that IP, we can do something with it." Why not? Why not? It's why why keep it on the shelf while you can do something with it? And that's what fucking Xbox is doing. These are the points that motherfuckers are not bringing up and talking about. Because guess what? Is PlayStation doing this shit? No. No, the fuck they're not. And that's why I'm still an Xbox fan regardless. That's why Xbox will always got my support. Because I want to see shit like this to happen. And guess what? PlayStation could be doing the same exact shit. And those PlayStation fans know it. In their heart of heart, they know that PlayStation could easily just take in, oh, Stalker 2. Oh, no, no, sorry, not Stalker 2. They could have easily took in Killzone. They could have easily took in SOCOM. They can license it out and have somebody else to do it. Or they can give it to already an existing studio to already make. Somebody can do another getaway game within the suit. They can do those things. Why are they keep making the same fucking IPs that we already know? Give that shit a break and have them make something else. Have them make something different. Imagine Naughty Dog took the reins of the Order of 8086. You know how amazing that would be? That'd be pretty fucking cool. 
if Ready is Dawn is not around no more, but you can still take that IP, give it to one of your studios to do it. Can't tell me that I'm fucking lying. That's why I give fucking respect for fucking Xbox. Xbox got my respect. Xbox got my support. Because they're doing shit like this. I care about gaming and I care about gaming and IPs to survive, to grow. They're doing it. They're sitting there saying, man, let fate, let, let them take over fate. Look, look, look at it. They're going from a racing game to like a fable game, side by side. A racing studio is making an RPG game. Why can't we get that for fucking PlayStation? Why we can't get that for this game right here? Why we can't get it for this game? They can do that. Why they go they own the IP. Why they can't do that? Why we don't get that for fucking the, the getaway? Why we can't get that? It's no fucking excuses. I am sick and tired of it. Stop fucking making up excuses and acting like they can't fucking do it. They fucking can. They got the studio. They so-called got the fucking talent. They so-called got this and this and that in the third. And they drop it hundreds and hundreds of games. What hundreds and hundreds of games are they fucking dropping? They're dropping the same game and the same sequel. Let them fucking work on other IPs that have been dormanted for fucking years. Give Naughty Dog Studio the getaway IP and have them work on something with it. Give fucking Sony Santa Monica that studio. Give them, give them fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, the Order of 1886. Let them work on it. Give those fucking franchises a break. Give them a break. Let them, let them cook on something else. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. It's disappointing. What's up, everybody? Doc Dog went on a five. Let's move on to this fucking guy. The last of the last of this fucking bullshit. I've been going on this shit for so long. It's time for the main event. I am sick and tired of this guy, bro. We had we we almost had it in the fucking chats right here for a minute. Cause for real, I had to say some shit to him because sometimes he say the most dumbest shit in his videos. For real. Saying some console warrior fucking nonsense. Phil Spencer is a businessman. Phil Spencer is not my fucking uncle. He doesn't pay my bills. Nor Jim Ryan or anybody else on fucking PlayStation paying my fucking bills. Doing anything for me. So for those, I don't give a fuck about them. What I care about is gaming. Video games and gaming that are coming out. That is what I'm worried about. And this fucking dude is flip-flopping back and forth like a bitch, tuck his tail between his legs, running run into PC. Then when he tries to do this, this, and that, he got a black screen, he was upset, he tuck his tail between his legs and run back to fucking console. Like a bitch. I am tired of bitches. I am tired of this dude. This dude, he's a fucking... Oh my god, like, he's a grifter. He's a fucking grifter, 110%. And if you don't believe me, let's go down here because when I say it right here, because you can see it right here on this chat, I said right there, say, yo, you sound dumb in this video, which he does. He does sound dumb. Yeah, how? I speak nothing but facts. Don't get mad at me. Are you serious? Nigga, I don't have to get you fucking mad because Oh Noah's Alex has already fucking ranked it on your bitch ass for the past two fucking two fucking weeks with two fucking of your videos. He been he been he been dogging on you and everybody on that chat been ragging on your fucking ass. I don't have to do anything cuz you say the most dumbest shit anyway to begin with. And then let's and whatever whatever and I'm saying all this bullshit and then he's saying like, let me keep, let me keep treating you as a cloud. I'm going to go back and play Black Myth Wukong. Yeah. What, 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 what game are you going to play it on? You're going to play it on the PlayStation five or you're playing it on your PC. Cause I'm betting you're going to play it on your PC. Cause you want to act like a console warrior bullshit. Cause you're not going to purchase it and play it on the PlayStation five. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. 
No, you're not going to play it on there. You're not going to play it on your PlayStation 5. You're going to play it on where? On the PC. Like, I don't fucking know you. I know this clown. This clown does not speak nothing but facts. But let's hear what he got to say. Five, there's levels to this. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's fucking levels to this one. All right. I, I, tr I tried to warn you. You didn't try to warn me. You didn't try to do anything. Shut the fuck up. You All you did was you cry and you bitch and you moan. What the fuck are you trying to warn me about? You warn me about Phil Spencer lie bullshit while PlayStation been lying from the past couple of generations ago? I'm sorry. Do I have to pull up the fucking one that I make the comparison videos to this? I'm sorry. They was doing this shit from a long time ago. Oh, they had the PlayStation Vita, the TV. Remember all this shit? I don't hear nobody was talking about this shit. Remember this? Look, 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 look. Everybody should know about this. Everybody should know about this, right? Oh, look. Right there. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's the PlayStation TV. You didn't need to have a fucking PlayStation fucking 4 console to play games on there because you can don't have to deal without it. You can just plug it into the back of your TV just like the same way as the, oh yeah, the Amazon Fire Stick, right? The Fire Stick TV, right? Where you can play hundreds and hundreds of games on here. Look, the Fire Stick. Look. Have a Fire Stick? Oh, look, look, the Fire Stick TV. And you could play Xbox Game Pass on the back of your TV and connect it to the TV and play games on there. Just like how from fucking nine years ago, you could plug it in the back of your TV. You didn't even need a PlayStation 4. Yeah, there's levels to this. Love to hear this. I, I love to hear the clap back on that shit. Love to hear what you're going to say about that. Oh, you know. Oh. Try to warn me about what? You didn't warn me about that nine years ago. You didn't warn me about that, right? Tried to no. tell you. I, 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 I did. No, you didn't. I did. Once I, once I realized, and once I saw it, you didn't realize. You didn't saw anything. Get the fuck out of here with this nonsense. But let me guess. You're gonna console war your way, war your way through on some bullshit while you already have a PC. But then you over crank the graphics, and because you don't know shit about your own fucking hardware. And you got mad and pissy whip because it black screen one time because you were trying to over crank the graphics card all the way up to 4K playing Forza, right? Forza Motorsport on the PC and then the, it black screen and it crashed and you got upset. So you tuck your tails between your legs and you cry and you ran like a bitch back to the Xbox. And then you were trying to warn, warn who? Nobody gives a fuck about you. I, I tried to warn you. I tried to tell you. You didn't try to tell me nothing. Xbox does not care about the console gamer. Oh, that's funny because wait, let me go put up that video again, because guess what? This is nine years ago. They had a PlayStation TV. You didn't need to have a PlayStation fucking four console. The console costed $400 during that time. And PlayStation said, Hey, you don't really need a PlayStation 4. If you really want to play your Vita games or you want to play PlayStation 3 titles and streaming services that we do or, you know, cloud gaming, we, we got a solution for you, which is the PlayStation TV. You could play PlayStation 3 titles games. You can also stream your PlayStation 4 from upstairs to downstairs to your TV. And you can also watch Netflix and all that stuff on there as well. And as well as you could do other things too. You can you could play good play PlayStation what PlayStation 3 title cloud gaming stuff. You can play PlayStation 4, you can play PlayStation 2. You can even play your Vita games on there too. You didn't you don't necessarily need a PlayStation 4 console at all. Like you can you can literally just pick this up and you could play games on here too. I mean like look, I mean we can always you know see what games that they had during the time. Look I mean, they had all these great little games. Look, they didn't have a PlayStation 4 underneath the damn shelf. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's so cute, right? That's so cute. They they, 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 they so called care. Look, look, he holding a PlayStation DualShock 3 control. Look, look, do you see a PlayStation 4 underneath there? Mm, I don't see a PlayStation 4. Do you? 
I certainly don't. So they're basically they're trying to tell you saying, oh, you don't need a PlayStation 4 because all you just need is this, this streaming device. This happens four fucking years, like what, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Where was you, motherfucker? Where was you? Where was you that was trying to warn us about this shit? What, so PlayStation cares about the console gaming? PlayStation wanted to do the same shit what Xbox is doing right now. Stupid ass. <laughs> but continue. I'd like to see you clap back on that one. I'd love to see you clap back on that one because with your eyes going bulging up like this. Oh? What you gonna say about that? Clap back. When when you gonna when you gonna say something about that? When you gonna defend yourself about that? I thought PlayStation said that they care about it. They didn't give a fuck. During 10 years ago, they never gave a fuck. Because you didn't really need it, a PlayStation 4 to play games. Because obviously they had a PlayStation device without the PlayStation 4 console. Because guess what? I don't see no PlayStation 4 on this underneath this thing. Do you? Where's the PlayStation 4 at? Where? Where? Is it behind these cabinets? Is it behind here? Is it behind his head? Let's let's go back. Uh, I, I still don't see no PlayStation 4. I don't see the PlayStation 4 console, do you? Oh, look. Look. Here's the other side of the TV. Still the same TV. Look, there's a, there's a TV thing. I don't see the PlayStation 4. Where's the PlayStation 4 at? You, you pointed out to me. I want you to tell me where's the PlayStation 4 at because there is no PlayStation 4 in that one. Mm. Try to tell me. Try to warn me. Bullshit. They have proven it with their actions don't worry about what they say worry about what they're actually doing they're yeah from like 10 years ago they was doing the same shit that i already have proven they're proving it with their actions now i get attacked being a flip flopper all this other stuff all which is fucking true you are a flip flopper we already know what kind of grifter you fucking are you don't know shit about your own fucking hardware, let alone you don't even know shit about the console hardware. You don't know shit about your own fucking PC hardware, which is fucking ridiculous. But okay, you spending all this fucking money and you don't know shit. That's just what you do. You're just spending money on whatever fucking product, whatever it is, dick riding it, acting like you know, you know how to work it, and you clearly fucking don't. You don't know shit about the software. You don't know shit about the hardware. What the fuck are you talking about? You haven't you haven't done anything. You just made yourself look like a fool. The only person that's a fool is you. I know about my own hardware. I know about console hardware. I know my own PC hardware. I know the limitations, what it can do and what it can't do. Because you know why? Oh yeah, key word is because I fucking learn. How about that? How about you fucking learn about something? Instead of being tied up in the fucking bathroom looking yourself in the stupid ass mirror how goofy you look. But hey, you, you're in the bathroom with your goofy ass self. I'm in an actual fucking room recording this fucking video. I'm not in the fucking bathroom. But listen. I've seen people on my channel saying, Doc, because you're no longer an Xbox uh, console fan or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and unsubscribe. And I got to... Look, man, I appreciate them unsubscribing. Unsubscribe to this fucking man. They ain't fucking wrong. Unsubscribe. I certainly did because I sat there and said, yeah, this is, this is not a fucking real gamer. This is just nothing but a fucking grifter. All he's just here is chase after views and get people upset and get people mad and he's not even really playing games he's probably only playing these games on his pc he's not playing it on the fucking console he's not playing black myth wukon on the playstation 5 no he's playing it on the pc but he's so-called got this passionate fucking console warrior fucking nonsensical bullshit but then you're telling your fans like yeah i'm playing black myth wukon on the pc but wait, 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 wait. If Xbox is doing so bad and Xbox is doing so poorly, why are you playing Black Myth Wukong on the PC? You should have been playing it on where? On the console, on the PlayStation 5. Why are you not playing it on the PlayStation 5? 
Huh? Why are you not playing it on the PlayStation 5? Because you know why? Because you're nothing but a goofy-ass flip-flopper and a fucking grifter. That's who you are. That's why I only got a PC. I got a PC. I don't got no other console in this house. It's only a PC. That's it. Be honest with you, it breaks my heart. Every time I hear somebody say they're going to... Oh, boo-hoo. It breaks your fucking heart. It breaks your fucking heart. Do you, you, do you want me to give you a fucking hug? Oh, boo-hoo. Sub, a little piece of my heart just cracks a little bit more, right? I'm like, I'm probably like right here right now. Just about to just, just be hard. Yeah, right. Get the fuck out of here. You're lying. You're just grifting your way through, trying to get those super chats, trying to get subscriber numbers, trying to get those likes, trying to get those PlayStation fanboys to subscribe to your channel, to boost up your shit. The only person that's... Like, again, I don't need to get you upset because somebody else has already done it for me. And I'm just the icing on the cake. I'm just here to fucking make you make yourself even look even more stupid and even more of a goofy. That's just what I do. And I love it because you know why? The only person that's a fool is you, not me. I'm not on here crying like a bitch about some bullshit what Phil Spencer says. I don't give a fuck. I don't wake up and think about Phil Spencer. Nigga, I'm thinking about a bill. I got shit to pay. I got a car. I got my job. I got a life. I got a career. What the fuck? I got other things to be thinking about. I, you know, I'm going out. I want to plan to have fun. Bro, I ain't got Phil Spencer on the fucking mindset. That's why y'all motherfuckers are weird. Y'all fucking YouTuber grifters are fucking weird. That needs to be cut the fuck out. You can be a fan of a con you can be a fan of a of a game or a console or whatever or a brand. You can be a fan, but damn, bro. This getting to the point where people are dick writing for this shit. People are dick writing, this, defending, all this fucking garbage ass nonsense. Console warring, which nobody gives a fuck about. That shit is long gone and dead. Exclusive is about to be gone and dead. We're in 2024, we're still doing this bullshit? Come on, man, y'all gotta grow the fuck up. Heartbroken completely. But what hurts me even more is all of you that are still believing in Xbox. You know what hurts me even more? That all of you are still believing in Xbox and PlayStation and all of these fucking YouTubers, fucking gremlin, fucking wannabe ass gamers, just like Dark Duck, just like your fucking brother named Porter Roach, Porter Roach 77, your fucking brother, believing in their fucking garbage and their nonsense and they speaking nonsense. These are old ass people that don't know shit about hardware, don't know shit about software, and not even talking about games. They worried about the console more than they are talking about the games. They're crying about a game getting delayed rather than just being like, one game got delayed, but I still got games to play. No, I'm going to cry about it. I'm crying like a bitch about it. It's ridiculous. You still believe in Xbox, and, I, and, and, here, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to make. I don't know why would you believe in Xbox, and just like I don't know why people are going to believe in PlayStation. Why would you believe in PlayStation for? Why would I believe in Xbox for? What? Why? Why would I believe in Phil Spencer? Why would I believe in any of these corporations? All I care about is the fucking games. That's what should matter. Motherfuckers, they're not paying my fucking bills. This clear. Not Indiana serious. Jones going to PlayStation and becoming multi-plat. In Indiana Jones is a licensed IP that's been licensed out by who? Who owns the rights to Indiana Jones? Xbox and Microsoft or fucking Disney? It's Disney. Disney owns the rights to the Indiana Jones franchise. They are licensing out to the what to Xbox console to the Xbox and also they are licensing it to a studio which is Machine Games. They're the ones who's making the game. It's a licensed IP. Xbox do not own Indiana Jones. Disney owns it. So Disney gets to do what Disney is going to make the rules. 
in itself is not the problem. The problem is the lie. Oh, God. Who gives a fuck? They lie about what? Every, every CEO has lied. Netflix lied. Fucking Hulu Hoot lies. Disney Plus lies. There's nothing but lies. I don't know what kind of fucking world or bubble you live in, but if you think like, oh, it's just only Xbox lies, PlayStation has lied. Right? What the fuck? It's not just Xbox. PlayStation lied plenty of fucking times. They believe in generation. That's a lie. The power of the SSD, it can only work on the PlayStation 5. It can run these games on this SSD. Nowhere else. That's a lie. It can run on PC because they're porting games over to fucking PC. They lie about shit too. What the fuck are you talking about? They're not the only ones. That's the problem, right? The lie is the problem, okay? No, the problem is you guys believing in this fucking garbage. Which you should not be believing or caring about any of these fucking corporations. Who cares? Yo, man, Netflix lied to me. I don't give a fuck if Netflix lied to me or not. If they got a show that I want to watch, I'm going to watch it. If they don't got nothing for me to watch... Then guess what? I'm going to unsubscribe and move on about my fucking day. It's that fucking simple. They won't be getting my money any at all. It's that fucking simple. Not only that, but oh, the way God. they announced it, they don't care about you. That's right. Because guess what? They're here to run a fucking business. They're not supposed to care about me. They don't give a fuck about me. They don't give a fuck about you. Clearly, back in those almost damn near 10 years ago when they had the PlayStation Vita right here, they clearly didn't give a fuck about any of the PlayStation fan base or PlayStation, fan, or PlayStation that owns a console. They clearly didn't give a fuck. They are more than willing to make a streaming device and put it in every home, even if you don't own a PlayStation 4 fucking console. Because you can look at it right here. Where is the PlayStation 4 console on it? All I see is the PlayStation streaming TV. That little device. And this and, and all these kids are playing fucking games on there. They're playing Lego. They're playing this. You didn't need a PlayStation 4 at the time. They didn't give a fuck about y'all who owns the console. This is from nine years ago. About to go on ten years ago. And Xbox is doing the same shit. What they was doing from ten years ago. And now all of a sudden we got a fucking problem. Now all of a sudden we got a fucking problem. They don't care about the console gamer. Neither does PlayStation. Because guess what? They're porting games over to fucking PC. If you are. And other platform as well. Just like the Nintendo Switch. With Lego Horizon Adventures. They're licensing their IP. To another studio to work on in a lego whatever and they're working together to make a lego horizon adventures that's going to be coming towards the nintendo switch are a playstation 5 owner you as a console gamer there is no denying that you are winning not is they're winning they're winning they're winning what what the fuck are they winning they're not winning. They're porting games over to the fucking PC. They're putting games on the Nintendo Switch. They don't give a fuck. If they care about their IPs and they care about their fucking shit, they would have made everything exclusive. They obviously don't give a fuck. They're following what Microsoft is fucking doing. Open your fucking eyes. They was willing to destroy their own brand from 10 years ago. You can see it for yourself. Look. 10 years ago, 10 fucking years ago, 10 years ago, this was 10 years ago. Look at Amazon Fire Stick, 10 years ago, they had this before even this happened. 10 years ago, <sighs> bro. And you telling they're winning right now. They don't even have this anymore. 
I tell you one thing, I bet you deep down inside, if PlayStation had this shit right now, they would have been had this shit right now. They should be having this shit right now to compete with who? Xbox, Fire Stick, Hello, PlayStation, TV. They should be having it right now to compete, and they're not. But you're telling me PlayStation is winning. Winning what? What games are they fucking winning? They're winning because they're shutting down fucking studios? Both of these are shutting down studios. At the end of the day, guess what? Xbox still got more studios than what PlayStation has right now, first party. What games are they making on the PlayStation platform that can compete or even have fun multiplayer games that they can fucking play? Because right now, it seems to me that Sea of Thieves is... Out, it's outperforming and being outplayed and it costs both the same amount of money. It's $40. That game is out is outperforming fucking Concord like it's 10 to 1. And that's embarrassing. This is supposed to be a PlayStation first party studio title and it can't even outperform a Xbox title. One Xbox game that I don't give a fuck about Sea of Thieves, I don't give a rat's ass about that game. I don't care about that game. And they're getting out fucking whooped. Bro, but you said they're winning. They're winning as they come. Where is Killzone? Where are games that people want to play? People want to play these type of games. They don't want to play Concord. They want to play something like this. Where is Killzone? You think they want to play this Concord garbage? Where is this? Where is Mac? Where are these games? Factions multiplayer. They want to play that. They don't want to play Concord Trent. Look, look, look. Look at the likes. Only 76 likes. This game came out like fucking 10 years ago. 10, 11, 11 fucking years ago. 1.7k likes they can't the concord just came out today they can't even break through that they can't even break through that look at this kill zone kill zone 1.9k 1.9k look at this and look at this playstation fans right here rest in peace to kill zone 3 multiplayer this this right in but you said you said that they're winning they're winning as a console gamer i just proved to you they, they they're not winning shit they're not doing anything they're not doing a damn thing look, look, look at this shutting they could have they could have brought they could have spent all that money that they was buying for bungie guess what they should have did they could they could have just spent a fracture of that to just buy ready, buy out Ready at Dawn and have them work on a fucking sequel of the Order of 1886 that people been fucking saying they needed a sequel. 11 years ago. 11 fucking years ago. And we, si we still don't got nothing. You don't believe me? Look, there's all the PlayStation fans right now. Rest in peace to Ready at Dawn. Ready at Dawn was ahead of themselves in technology they created. It, it, yes, they was. And it was an amazing fucking game seven days ago. We need this. We need this sequel, PlayStation. Release it on PC. They're begging to release this game on the PC. They're not even saying make a remake of a, of a whatever whatever make a remake out of it or whatever make a sequel they some of these some of these gamers are saying release this shit on the pc if that's ain't telling you something that's telling you that they ain't fucking winning <laughs> for real this game deserve a sequel it has so much potential yes we still need part two yes this needs a sequel, a honor base three. Come on, man. This needs a sequel. One of the best PlayStation 4 games. Excellent. It is one of the best. Best, the best game in 2024. 
We need a continuation. Look at this. I found the, I found the game on eBay for $8. I can't wait to play it. It's going to come on Tuesday. I can't wait to play it. This right here speaks volumes. This right here should be speaking volumes to your dumb ass. This is a fucking tragedy. This could have been... They could have spent a fracture of fucking... Bungie's bullshit. They could have spent a fracture of that fucking. They're not even buying that fucking garbage ass fucking. Uh, fucking. Bungie bullshit. They could have. They could have spent a fraction. Sony could have spent a fracture of that shit. I'm so fucking pissed off and mad that the fact that these fucking clowns on here say, "Yo, man, PlayStation is winning, man. PlayStation got game," and you got people in this comment section begging. Begging for a PC release. Begging for a sequel. Sony, PlayStation, we need a sequel to this. They want this game. What the fuck? And they're not listening and they're giving them this. They want you They want you to say, no, you know what? Fuck Mag. Don't play Mag. Go play this Concord shit. This is great. This is great. This is, this is what they want to play. 76 likes. This is gameplay footage. Beta. 76 likes. Shit, even in a beta, gameplay footage, you would have seen a hell of a lot more likes than 76. <sighs> Bro, this speaks more volumes than anything else. And then you go up here. Look, look at the likes. 19k likes. 19k likes. From 11 years ago, 19k likes out of 76 likes. PlayStation has fallen off so bad. I don't even think PlayStation is PlayStation no more, but we got this goofy clown said, oh, bro, PlayStation is winning, man. As a console gamer, they're winning. They're not fucking winning. They're fucking losing. Any Xbox gamer out there that's going to try... Any Xbox console gamer is going to try to deny this. Shut your mouth. You're going to look stupid. The only person that looks stupid is fucking you. Because I already pointed out a whole bunch of shit. So the only person that looks stupid is you. You look stupid. You look dumb as fuck. Right now. That's why I made that comment saying you sound dumb in this video. Because you do. If you are a piece, a, a PlayStation, a PlayStation gamer, because you like consoles, you are winning. You understand that it's not just about games going to PlayStation that are Xbox games. It's about games that are skipping the Xbox console. See, myself as a PC Xbox console gamer, right? We're worried about games that are skipping to the Xbox console. We're worried about games that are being skipped onto the xbox console okay so we got black myth wukon is being whatever being worked on good let black myth wukon be a game that's going to be put out great for the console i don't want it to be half ass why would i promote a game that's black myth wukon and be on the xbox platform and is a half ass port and it doesn't even work and people will be upset they're skipping. What the fuck are we talking about? Baldur's Gate 3 still came out on the console itself. They gotta work on it. So what? Let them cook. These games are not something like whatever. What? It, oh, or let me guess. The Marvel, the X Men, the X Men versus um, what? What am I call it? X what? X Men. You know, Marvel versus Marvel versus Capcom. Whatever. Not yeah. Yeah, Marvel versus Capcom. So the whatever. So Marvel versus Capcom is skipping the the Xbox whatever, right? Because we got Street Fighter, right? We we got um whatever Capcom Fighting Collection. So for me, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I have a if I had an Xbox console, you know, you could just put on Dev Mode and you pay for twenty dollars, and you can emulate. Marvel versus Capcom 2, 1, 
all their all of the Capcom games if you want the emulation one and you want to and you can get it for free. You don't even have to pay for it. That's for fucking for free. You can do that. Can PlayStation does that? No, nope, PlayStation don't allow you to do that. You have to pay out of your pocket for it. You want the you want the official version from Capcom? You got to pay for it. You want the Dreamcast version, the emulation version for that? Oh, we can just get that for free. That's easy. Just pay Devmo $20, get the em backwards emulation for it, port it right into my console, and ta-da! I already got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 over with, and I got it for free. I didn't even have to pay out of my pocket. Oh, and better yet, you know I can just switch the dev mode back to my regular console, and I can still play all of my fucking games on there. I can still play this game, I can still play that game, and I can switch it back to death mode to do what? Oh yeah, I can play all of the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, I can play emulation game, I can play a GameCube game. I can literally play God of War 3, God of War 3, from the PlayStation 3 backwards, backwards emulation on dev mode on a Xbox Series S console. You can't even play God of War 3 on the PlayStation 5. But guess what? Xbox allow you to say, here, you want to pay $20, pay $20, and you get all the access to, you want to emulate whatever game, you want to emulate a PlayStation 1 game, you can. You want to emulate a PlayStation 2 game, you can. You can port those games to the Xbox One platform console or the Xbox Series S console. You want to play those games, you can. You want to play God of War 3 emulation? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that on your Xbox Series S console. More than happy to. You could play God of War 3. Can I play God of War 3 on my fucking PlayStation 5? No. Or some people hate when I put the Xbox caveat on it. So me as a PC gamer, I still get to play the games that the Xbox gamers can't play. If you're on console and I... And PlayStation players cannot play PlayStation 3 fucking title games because they're still trapped on the PlayStation 3 fucking console. Meanwhile, on the Xbox that everybody hates about, I pay $20 for dev mode, do the backwards emulation, and I can play God of War 3 on the Xbox Series X in dev mode for free. F-R-E-E -E for free. I don't have to pay anything. I can play Bloodborne on the Xbox Series S console. If they're going to work on the backwards emulation for it, and once it's done and it's complete, all I have to do is just take that fucking game and just play it on my and just play it on my Xbox Series S console. For free. Any PlayStation game that is backwards compatible, I can play that shit on the Xbox Series S and X console for free and all I have to do is just pay $20 for it for dev mode to get access to do it and that's it it's simple as that and I can switch back the console switch it off dev mode and I can go right back to playing all the modern titles for my Xbox games that's already have backwards compatibility hmm PlayStation is fucking winning yeah right PlayStation is not even winning. Not even close. I don't know what the fuck are you talking about. They got a long way to go. Let alone, they got a lot of work to fucking do. Still get the same game pass at a cheaper price with more perks. Like, what are we... What, what, are, what, are, what are we doing? And we got PlayStation Plus have... It, it basically like this. Why would I want to play... The, why would I want to pay for P, the PlayStation Plus whatever essential tier, this tier, whatever tier, and we're not even, and they're not even getting fun multiplayer games to play. You think they want to waste their money and pay? They are. You don't understand what's going on. They are willing to pay for a PlayStation essential tier if there's an Xbox title on there. Not a PlayStation title, an Xbox title. What the fuck? Like, oh my God, like this is not good.
this is not good for PlayStation. This is literally destroying them. They're destroying them. It's good for Sony because yeah, they're they're paying for now. They're paying for essential tier. They're paying PlayStation Plus essential or whatever, the lowest tier to play online. But guess what? They're not playing online for what games? They're playing Xbox multiplayer fucking games. They're paying for DLC on Xbox. That's on the PlayStation 5 fucking platform. They're not getting that extra money. All their DLC and all their microtransactions go straight to fucking Microsoft. It's not going into Sony's pockets and goes right back to their development fucking studios. You know that, right? I will hope so. Because if you fucking don't, and you don't fucking realize this, then you need to wake the fuck up. Because that's not good. That is not good at all. Do I need essentials to play fucking um, The Order of 1886? No, because it's a single player fucking game. Do I really need essential tiers to play fucking, I don't know, Ghost of Tsushima? No. Yes, does it have online multiplayer? Yes, but how many people really cares about that? Nobody. They'd much rather just play the single player experience and be happy with it. But soon as these Xbox games are coming to that PlayStation 5 platform and it's multiplayer, which they already got multiplayer games that's already on there right now. Fallout 76. Right? Elder Scrolls Online. Like, Call of Duty. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is going to be going on there too. So all those extra little money and DLC and skin packs is going to go straight towards Microsoft. It ain't going into Sony's pocket. It's going towards Microsoft pockets. I want you to open up your eyes. I pride myself on being able to have a following. Bitch, your eyes are still shut and you don't understand and you haven't seen the big picture. In a, in, in a group of subscribers that open their eyes and see exactly what's happening. Now, if you know exactly what's happening and you're okay and you're, and you're willing to take it, that's perfectly fine. But if you're following Xbox blind, open your eyes. They don't care about the console gamer. No console requ And guess what? They PlayStation don't care either. They port they're porting fucking games over to the PC platform. They don't fucking care either. Required. I didn't say oh it. Xbox God. said it. Indiana Jones coming out December 9th. But it's also coming out on PS5. And not only that, they said, and one more thing, they could have had that secretly as a subtitle for people to have to read. To sneak it in. No, no. They made sure it was its own separate announcement that it's coming to PS5. Because you know why? Because they got confidence. Because at the end of the day, what does Sony has to compete with all of, with any of their multiplayers? They don't got nothing. Concord is going to compete with what? What? With Halo Infinite? Ha! Huh, that's a joke. What multiplayer do, do PlayStation have right now that can compete with Xbox? Because remember, 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 PlayStation is trying to do what? Making live service games to to make money because they're not getting that Call of Duty money anymore. No, no, no. They're not getting that extra money because all that Call of Duty money, they was putting it into where? All those studios. So since they're not getting that fucking extra bread, and you know those PlayStation gamers are going to be playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 on the PlayStation 5, and all those extra money is going towards where? It's going towards Microsoft, Xbox, Xbox. It ain't going towards PlayStation, Xbox. So if they want to announce it like that, they got confidence basically saying, we don't give a fuck because PlayStation is not a threat. They don't give a fuck. Xbox is sitting there saying that PlayStation is basically is not a threat. They don't care. Because guess what? They're still going to make money off of your dumb asses. That's what they're going to do. Oh, yes. You already see You already see what Concord is doing. And you already see what Sea of Thieves is doing 10 to 1. They're, they're out pushing the numbers and people are buying Sea of Thieves more than they are doing what? Buying and playing Concord. 
10 to 1. So who's getting that extra money? Microsoft. Not PlayStation, Xbox. Do you understand? Who do you think this affects? Um, clearly it, it affects you because it seems like you being hurt and all this shit, which it should not be it affecting you. I don't understand why, why it has to affect you because it ain't affecting me. It ain't affecting anybody else because we're still getting these games regardless. And on top of that, it's a licensed IP. Like, who cares? Like, this is just licensed out. Like, like, what the hell? Like, what are we, what are we doing here? What are we talking about here? I don't know why this doesn't affect you because every time when a game gets delayed, just like you over here made a video crying like What's up, a everybody? bitch this level with a shitty ass microphone. I got a really quick video for you guys today. I don't even want to turn on my camera and look you in the face. Oh, you don't want to turn on your camera and look me in the face because you cry like a bitch because of Valve getting delayed? Oh, it, oh, it hurts. Oh, it I'm fucking so hurts. I'm disappointed in the reaction that everyone's getting with this. So I dropped a video. I dropped a video about the, um, about being the Yo, your mic is fucking garbage. Fix your fucking microphone too, please. Delayed Get a better how, microphone. And how the real issue that I had was the fact that <laughs> the reasoning for it they said that they're delaying it because our backlog is is is, is so that we can get to our backlog that's a flat out lie they're not delaying it because they, they care about our backlog let me lower this real quick so you can hear me a little bit better they're not delaying it because because they care about our backlog again i don't care why they delaying it but to say that hey we're delaying it because we care about your backlog is crazy bro that makes no freaking sense Oh, you crying like a bitch because they delaying the game one time. Oh no. Oh god, a valve is getting delayed. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck what the excuse is. They're just delaying the game. Okay, they're delaying it. Who cares? I don't care what the fucking reasoning is or whatever. They're delaying the game. Okay, so they're delaying the valve. Because of what? Backlog? Okay, like I don't care. I got games to play. There's plenty of games on this list right here that it seems like we, we got plenty of games so valve is pushing to 2025 so we have this game this game we got starfield dlc right flight sim terraborn age of mythology indiana jones and the great circle call of duty 6 and stalker 2. but he's crying about one delay he's crying about one delay one delay this game one well, delay really about me the most is seeing everyone oh it bothers you to this as if this is oh i'm sorry it, it must have really affected you i really feel sorry for your fucking ass which i fucking don't it's not even a problem even on my own channel the amount of people that are like doc you don't see the big picture we have too many game stalker too and all this other stuff i say that you're lying hell yes hell yes there is so many fucking what you telling these motherfuckers like you telling them that they're lying? They ain't fucking lying. What what PlayStation got? Yo, if PlayStation delayed Astrobot, that would have been a real slap in the face because then it'll be like, there's no excuse because there's no other fucking games on that platform is really doing anything. We don't even have a roadmap for PlayStation. Where the fuck is all these games? There's nothing there for me to play. There's nothing there that for me to be excited about. Where's all the exciting games? Where's all the games that we they've been tell they've been saying, oh, this game and, da, 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 and this is gonna be bangers and bangers and bang. They haven't even dropped a banger, bro. Their bangers are not even bangers no more. They are fucking disappointing, and it's garbage. Straight up, it would have been no excuse for that. I would have been like, are you serious? Why would you delay? You know this game and you don't even have shit going on you don't even have a fucking lineup and he ain't lying look you can see it for yourself there is crazy amount of games on here there is crazy amount games on here 2025 south of midnight fable doom the dark ages upcoming out of worlds 2 perfect dark state of decay 3 contraband i don't know if that game is canceled or not it might be canceled it could be canceled whatever i don't care clockwork revolution 
Gears of War E-Day, Elder Scrolls 6, Blade, OD, Everwild. People can fly their untitled game. Like, bro, there is so many games there. We got so many games. Even Star Starfield's getting DLC. Flight Sim 2024, Towerborn, Age of Mythology, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This is one crazy ass lineup. What the fuck are you talking about? They released Hellblade not that long ago. Bro, you got to stop with this shit, yo. You got to you got to learn how to shut the fuck up and just be humble. Shut the fuck up, eat your porridge and be humble. Cuz I'm humble. I'm grateful for this. This is this right here. I would much rather have this this lineup than what we had in the Xbox One generation. I'll tell you that. I wouldn't I wouldn't even trade for even the 360 lineup. I wouldn't even trade for that. What we got right here, I wouldn't even trade for the Xbox One lineup, but I'm good with this. This is good for me. I'm great. I'm Gucci. There is so many games on here to play. There's so many things to play. We're fucking good. Let these games get some breathing room. I remember before when they put in out skimpy ass games and it wasn't, you know, they only put in out three titles or two titles. That was it. And all these rest of the games are just fucking garbage or trash or they're just not good. I remember that on the Xbox One generation. It was not good. Look what we got right now on the Series S and X series right now. This is crazy. This is like. This is what this is the lineup that what should have been in the Xbox One generation. This lineup should have been what the Xbox One lineup should have been. I'm grateful for this. We got plenty of fucking games. I got three, four games on here on this list. I'm fucking Gucci. Fucking Gucci. I don't need any more. I'm good. I got plenty of games to play, but this little bitch right here is crying. I guess this is affecting Because when you. the Xbox showcase dropped, everybody was praising the Xbox showcase. I don't remember one single person begging Microsoft to delay a freaking game because the backlog was too full. And Nobody was begging for a delay. What the fuck are you even talking about? See, this is where this is where I'm telling you right now. He is nothing but a grifter fucking dealing with people on Twitter. Get the fuck off of Twitter. Twitter is not a real place. Get the fuck off of there. Stop being on Twitter. I don't even have a Twitter account anymore. I don't. No more social media for me. I don't even have it anymore. Mm -mm. You 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 keep on being on Twitter 24-7, 7 days. A you need to get the fuck off. Spend time with your family, bro. Enjoy gaming. Stop worrying about people on Twitter. Stop worrying about people on youtube and just enjoy the games nobody i don't know where he's getting this from somebody's begging for for a valve to get delayed if the valve gets delayed it gets delayed okay i don't care let let it be delayed if it's not even delayed it doesn't matter i got too many games to fucking play I may not even get to it all because I, I like, look, I want to play Starfield. I want to play Soccer 2. I want to play Black Ops 6. And I do want to play fucking, what, the Indiana Jones in the Great Circle. All those games right there, those are plenty of games for me to play. What the fuck? You need to calm your ass down. I don't understand where the fuck are you getting this information from, but I don't think nobody was begging for a Valve to get delayed. If it got delayed, it's delayed. Like, who cares? As a real Xbox fan, as any real gamer, any fan out there, if it's delayed, it's delayed. It's delayed. Let it be delayed. I got plenty of games to be playing. And if somebody did say that, they were saying it as a joke. They were saying, oh my god, our backlog so full. They should delay some games. But ain't nobody was really asking Microsoft to delay freaking games. You guys are freaking puppets. What I've realized, which, which is so, so heartbroken, Man, yo, you really are invested. Like, bro, relax. Like, if somebody said that shit on Twitter, who cares? They're probably just saying it as a joke, and you're and they're just trolling you. And they already started to troll the fuck out of you. You need to stop. They're probably just trolling you at this point. Like, you know how goofy and how stupid you sound right now? 
And then look at you right now. You're sitting here like, you know who this affects? The it's, people that are playing Xbox games on PC don't care. They don't care. Why should I care? Like, I don't I don't tell them or dictate what they want to play or what they don't want to play. On the console, they can do whatever the fuck they want. They If they want... If they choose they want to unsubscribe to Game Pass, go right ahead. They want to go on to PC, they fucking can. If they don't want to, they can. They don't have to subscribe to Game Pass. They don't need to buy games off of Game Pass. If you want to buy the games that you want to play, you buy them and play them. It's that fucking simple. Nobody, nobody here is like putting a gun to each other's head. It's just like this. Like, my PC is going to be a different build than anyone else. Just because I got a different PC build than somebody else, am I holding him back in gaming while we playing online together? No. If he's running the game at 1440p and I'm running the game at 1080p 60, am I holding him back or he's holding me back? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're just playing the game. We're enjoying each other. We're running the, the, the game the way we want to and that's it. And we're just playing the fucking game. I don't tell people what to do with what games that they want to play or not. I'm just speaking on my own opinion on this. But I'm not putting nobody a gun to their head saying, you got to play this game. Don't play this game. That's not my business. That's their business. All I'm saying is, I don't know why is it affecting you? Because you seem like you're crying like a bitch over a valve. I don't understand why. Because you know what my game is. You know what my game is? My game is Stalker 2. You know what I'm saying? My game is Stalker 2. This is my game. I've been waiting for this game for a very long time. Very, very long time. When I heard it's going to be announced, I was excited. I was on it. I want to play this game. And I want to play it so bad. You know how many delays does this game has? You know how many delays this has? This has more delays than fucking a Valve. You crying about a Valve getting one delay. And you're crying like a bitch, like, uh, 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 all this bullshit, all this Goo Goo Gaga shit. This game has been delayed multiple times. When I say multiple times, I truly do mean in the sense of the word multiple times. At least more than two to three times. I think like about four to five, maybe six times, like four to five times it been delayed. It been delayed more more than a couple of times, but you don't see me making a video crying like a bitch about this game getting delayed, right? I, I'm not coming on here making the video. I'm not going on Twitter seeing what people because you know why? Because the stalker fan base and the people who enjoy stalker in the game itself, stalkers don't cry like bitches. All we do is we just gonna wait and be patient, and we're gonna just let them cook. And we're going to play and enjoy other games. We're not going to worry about Stalker. We, if somebody already pre-order it, they pre-order it. Somebody didn't pre-order it, they're going to play it day one. That's fine. Like again, the Stalker community and everyone that's decided for that fucking game, we're not crying like a bitch. We don't cry like a bitch about a game being delayed. But then we got these fucking YouTube grifters crying like a bitch over one delay. While this game had multiple delays. Sure, they was disappointed in it, right? But we didn't cry like a bitch and whine and complain. Eh, eh, eh. Shut your fucking ass up. You're a grown ass man. Crying like a bitch for it, bro. This is ridiculous. But if you're a part of this console war stuff, this is a slap to your face. They don't care. Why are you doing this console war nonsense while the console war shit talk is over? Stop this. This is this is so fucking ridiculous. This is so fucking stupid. This is how you know this fucking dude is a fucking grifter. He's a 100% a console fucking grip, a gamer grifter. Just grifting about bullshit, getting people riled up, angry, being on his channel, all this other fucking bullshit. 
nothing but a grifter. This is why Oh No It's Alex has made fun of this dude plenty of times from the past two fucking weeks. He's been making making fun of this fucking clown. It's 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 like bro. Stop with this console war nonsense. That whole console war shit is over. It's done, it's dead, it's gone. Like, look, if Square Enix is pulling out from, from the PlayStation platform, and Square Enix says, we're not going to keep taking the Sony deal and the Sony paycheck and putting our games just only on the PlayStation 5 while we're not making money, we're going to be third-party multiplat, and we're putting our Final Fantasy franchise and RP to other consoles and other platforms. It's not going to be just for micro, you know, PlayStation. That's what they're doing. Oh God! And again, if it was just that that Xbox is now making games multiplat, that's one thing. But how about you take your money and your resources to make sure that all games drop on the Xbox Series X and S? How about you do that instead? They already doing it. Indiana Jones is going to be first on Game Pass. And it's going to be first on the console and PC. They are getting it first. PlayStation is not getting it anytime soon. They got to wait. Then Microsoft, how about you make sure that these games that are hits, hits, right? This game right now is a hit. Baldur's Gate 3, a hit. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that they can drop on the Xbox platform. Yeah, look. This dude is so fucking stupid that the fact that you think that PlayStation is worried about Indiana Jones, which they don't give a fuck about because they already got Uncharted. They don't care about Indiana Jones. They already have Uncharted. What the fuck? Like, are you stupid? Are you retarded? Oh, my God. And then they're talking about a hit. Did you know they already got a hit? You know what it is that nobody ain't talking about? Stalker 2. Stalker 2 is a fucking hit. What the fuck are you talking about? How about you oh. put your resources into that? They don't, they don't. You know why? Because they, they, they don't care. The install base of the Xbox Series X and S is insignificant. And just like how PlayStation feels about everyone else on that con on that platform too. They're insignificant. Because you know why? If, if, like again, Stellar Blade only sold 1 million. 1 million. That's only a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Not even on the PC. Not coming to whatever Xbox. No other platforms. That is strictly a PlayStation 5 game. Stellar Blade only sold 1 million copies. 1 million copies. Not 2 million. Not 3 million. Not 5 million. 1 million million copies out of 66 million consoles sold 66 million consoles sold minus 1 million how much is that how much how, how many consoles is that so that means there are 65 million players out there on the playstation 5 console 65 that hasn't played or brought or buy stellar blade that only sold 1 million copies and that's only on the PlayStation fucking 5. You see how stupid you look? You see how dumb you sound? You see how retarded you fucking sound right now? Let's do the same thing with fucking Concord. How many game, how many how many players are playing Concord right now? How many copies has that been sold over Do do I have to say it? Do I have to say it? You can pick any game off of the off of off of the off of the Xbox lineup that has oversold Concord. Sea of Thieves. I bet you Hi-Fi Rush has outsold and outperformed Concord. I bet you. I bet any money on that it has. And it has. They don't care. Indiana Jones. And guess what? PlayStation don't care about them either. Okay? So what's your fucking point? Calls way too much money for it to be placed on just 
the install base of the Xbox Series X and S and PC. They're also going to need every single other platform. This is this is what they need to do. Make this multi-platform. No, this is what you need to do. You need to shut the fuck up. Take down this fucking video because you sound dumb as fuck. And just go away. How about you do that? Because at the end of the day, Doc, nobody gives a fuck about you and nobody cares. Just like me. Nobody gives a fuck and nobody cares about me. But since you want to sit here and say all this bullshit, but... Let me go destroy this one little piece of argument before I wrap up this video. Because this is the last point that I'm going to say this. Because he can't say anything else after this. He said, let, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back just a little bit. What do you, what do you said? The install base of the Xbox Series X and S is mm -hmm. insignificant. All right. They don't care. Indiana Jones calls way too much money. For it to be placed on just the install base of the Xbox Series X and S and PC. So he said Indiana Jones, right? Which is a licensed IP. So we got we get in this understanding. So it's a licensed IP, Indiana Jones. It's not enough. Right? You know, that's funny. Because if I wasn't mistaken. Since I got these two articles right up here, right? Stock of two, right? I remember. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. This is not the article. Yep, this is not the article. Because I know I have the article. There it is. Because even even so. Before this is supposed to be a time exclusive. I remember that. I remember that this game was supposed to be a time exclusive. This is Stalker 2. This is the game that I'm anticipating to play this the most. It's not coming to the PlayStation 5. Open world G open world games upcoming horror survival theme shooter Stalker 2 will unfortunately not be a not be available on the PlayStation 5. This this title is a Microsoft exclusive and will slowly be available across newer generation Microsoft platform, even older generation consoles like the Xbox One have been attempted on the list. And look, it's already said it right here. Yep, right here. Stalker 2. No plans for the PlayStation 5, says Open World GC Games. Stalker 2 will be exclusive to the Xbox and PC platform for the foreseeable future. That means that this... You, I don't know if Dark Dog didn't quite understand this. That the fact that, you know, negotiations and stuff like that will change. Like contracts could change. Contracts can never stay the same. Maybe at one point they might say, okay, this Indiana Jones title is going to be exclusively on the Xbox. Shit might change and they might say, we don't want it just to be on the Xbox. We want to put it on PlayStation as well. That can change. Any negotiation and contracts can always change. 
You know, this game, Stalker 2, was originally, back in 2021, was supposed to be a three-month exclusive on the Xbox platform before it was going to go to the PlayStation 5. Oh, yeah, they was planning that. They was planning to have an exclusive to be on the Xbox, Xbox Series S and X, and then it's going to be ported over to the PlayStation 5 platform. They had plans to do that. It was supposed to be a three-month or four-month exclusive. That was it. This is this has happened in 2021. Fast forward. We're in 2024, right? And you can you can see for the title for yourself. They have no plans to put to put this game on the PlayStation 5 for the foreseeable future. They had no plans for PlayStation 5. So that means this is only going to be on the PC, on the Xbox Series S and X, and that's it, not on PlayStation. This is one of the biggest fucking titles ever. This is one of the most anticipated games more than anything else. This is a game that is way more, I guarantee you, and I promise you, some people are going to lie to themselves, and they then I bet you they are. But I'm I bet you that all those Xbox fanboys over there in their heart of heart, deep in their heart, they wish that this game was coming to the to the PlayStation 5 platform. They wish. They wish it was. I know they want to. They want it so bad. Cause I guarantee you, if this game was on that was on that platform was releasing, man, they would not give a f two fucks about fucking Concord. They'll say fuck Concord. We got fucking Stalker too. We don't care about that sh shit game. They will much rather trade Concord. They will rather trade Concord for Stalker two, any day of the week. I promise you, they will. But it's so funny that open world gc just said we're going to just make this game only exclusively on the pc and on the xbox series s and x no playstation 5. and you know that these developers and these publishers should be making money right and they could make more money by putting this game over to the playstation 5 platform why did why are they not doing that huh what, why why are they not doing that? Why are they not putting this big game that people are waiting for so fucking patiently? Like I am. Like I'm waiting so patiently. I want to play it so bad. I want to play it so bad. I'm willing to do anything. I wish I was at fucking Gamescom because I'll be sitting there on that screen playing it all day long. I don't give a fuck whatever game that Xbox has. That'd be the last thing on my list. I'll be playing that shit from the fucking morning all the way towards the fucking afternoon. I will be playing it. I don't give a fuck if I have to stand there for eight hours. I will sit, I will stand up and play that fucking game for eight hours straight. That's how badly and how desperately I want to play that game because I love the game. I want to play the game so bad. So bad. And yet, and yet, it's not going. And, and, and yet, this game is not even coming to fucking PlayStation. So tell me, Doc, what what happened there? What happened there? Tell me what 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 happened there? It it doesn't make sense, right? I mean, like the, I mean, what PlayStation got sixty six million consoles, right? I mean, they they got the hottest platform, right? People should give up their Xbox and trade it in and then just go straight to P uh, to go straight to, to, to PlayStation. This studio said they're not they're not putting they're not planning on a PlayStation 5. They're not doing it. Who knows how long that will be? That could be 10 years. That could be indefinite. Who knows? But it ain't coming to fucking PlayStation at all. Not at this time. But before in 2021, this was supposed to be a four month exclusive. What happened? 
Tell, it, 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 tell, tell me, tell me what, what happened there? What happened there? What does it, right? What, what happened? I thought, I thought Xbox, I thought Xbox doesn't have exclusive titles. I thought Xbox will never get exclusive bangers. It seems to me they got a fucking banger on their hands because obviously even the developers said, yeah, we're not going to plan on a PlayStation 5. It's not coming and we're going to put it on the Xbox Series S and X and on PC. No PlayStation 5 plans and they're getting and, and PlayStation 5 got 66 million consoles out there. They can make extra money. They can make more money than just putting it on the Xbox and the PC. What, what, what happened? Tell me, Doc, what happened? Tell me, what what made their decision to put this game only exclusively on the Xbox and the PC? Tell me. I can't figure it out. I don't know. They said they said it's because of Game Pass influenced them. I don't know if that's a lie or they're telling the truth. I don't know. But guess what? What what does that matter to me? All do, all I know. It's the fact that Xbox secure a fucking exclusive title in the bag that people are dying to play and then wants to play. It. They secure the bag. They already have a big exclusive right there. Just by just that game alone. Just that game alone is going to be fucking amazing. I'm telling you. So for that, thank you. Thank you, Phil Spencer. Thank you for actually giving us gamers on the Xbox platform and on my PC. Thank you for giving us a fucking game that I want to play, that I want to enjoy with the rest of my fucking companions. Thank you. I appreciate that, Phil for looking out for us. I appreciate it, Phil, that you're not gonna throw your fucking IPs inside of a fucking shelf and keep it locked away for 10 fucking years. I appreciate it, Phil, that you actually taking the time to take down Fable, that you know you shut down the studio of Lionhead, but you said, you know what, let's give this, let's give this IP to one of our studios and have them make something out of it. Instead of just keeping the IP on the fucking shelf like fucking PlayStation has done for the past 20 fucking years. I appreciate that, Phil. You're really looking out for us. Appreciate it. Because at least you're giving us games that gamers want to play and fucking enjoy. You're giving us hope that, hey, they might, if they're going to do this, we might can get we might get licensed out they might license their ip out that these ips are going to continue to grow continue to be around unlike playstation fucking titles where's killzone where's where's resistance where's socom where's all of these franchises that they had on the playstation 3 where they're, they're gone. Nowhere to be found. We can't get them back. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like to... I like... I, I love... I love to hear your bullshit about that. That's how stupid you look. That's how stupid you look. Because you don't... You don't see what's going on. You don't understand the big picture. You didn't even fucking realize that PlayStation long once upon a time ago, they was making games. They, they had a PlayStation Vita. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, if, they, if, if this right here doesn't wake people up, look, man. All I got to say is to wrap up this video. Let me just tell you something right now. Stay away from these fucking and stop listening and stop fucking dick riding on these fucking fanboys. These Xbox and these fucking pony fucking fanboys stay away from these fucking dudes. 
Stay away from grifters like these. Fucking, fucking Dark Dog. Stay away. Stay away from him. He is no good. Unsubscribe to his channel. Unsubscribe. Because I'm being serious. This fucking dude is crying like a bitch over one game getting delayed. A Valve. 2025. Whoopie do. It's getting delayed. My game, Stalker 2, is getting had what? Like over five fucking delays? And me and everyone else in that community, yeah, we was disappointed, but we didn't cry like a bitch and made a video about it. It is what it is. They delayed it, they're going to delay it. Let them delay it. That's fine. I don't care what's the rhyme or the fucking reason on Twitter, this, YouTube, whatever people are saying. If it's delayed, it's delayed. If that is it. End of story. Get the fuck off of Twitter. Twitter is not a real place. Those people don't even play games. They don't play games like I do. Neither does Doc. Doc don't even know anything about their heart. Don't know anything about their fucking hardware. Don't know nothing about their software. He doesn't even know anything about his own fucking PC. You're listening to a man that doesn't even... Don't even understand about his own shit. And then he's sitting here crying like a bitch in his other videos about one delay of a game. While my game, while, while my game got multiple delays. And I'm not even crying about it. I didn't even make a video about it. You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing? Oh yeah, I'm playing fucking games, right? Just like right here. You should be subscribing to my channel, right? Right here. Playing games, putting up clips right here, playing all these games right here. I don't see Doc playing fucking games, do you? He ain't doing no tips and tricks videos. He ain't doing this. He ain't doing Let's Plays videos. He ain't doing shit. All of these games that I'm playing, putting in two, three, four fucking hours, playing the game, uploading it for you. Right here. Look at, look, all these games. All of these games I'm playing. All of these games, right? All of the live streams. All of the shit. Games. Shit that I'm buying. Cyberpunk. They're playing that with mods. All of these fucking games. I've been playing some games. I've been playing some fucking games. I've been buying games too. You can even go on here. I did a whole stream of just me just buying games right off of Steam. Unsubscribe to this man's garbage ass shit. He is nothing but a grifter. Subscribe to my channel. That's why I got this slogan right up here. I simply play games and talk shit about fanboys like you, Doc. Like you. People in the fucking real gaming community are sick and tired of you fucking grifters. They are sick and tired of you. We are tired of fucking Dreamcast guy obnoxious fucking bullshit takes people are tired of you nobody gives a fuck about you nobody cares about you you are fucking delusional get the fuck off of youtube get the fuck off of twitter get the fuck off spend time with your fucking family shit man no wonder that your fucking wife probably left your fucking dumb ass because she got sick and tired of your fucking childish ass bullshit she got sick and tired of your fucking childish ass bullshit. And you know what? I don't fucking blame her. Not one bit. I do not blame her at all. I am sick and tired of your childish fucking shenanigan bullshit. Wake the fuck up. It's 2024. Shit needs to move on. Let go of the past. The past is not coming back. Xbox gotta do shit different. They can't play the same games. Just the same way as Sony, they're finding out the hard way that we can't play the same bullshit tactics that we did in the PlayStation 4 generation. They gotta do shit different. Everybody is.
and stop believing in fucking dick riding on these corporations. These are not your friends. They are here to do business. I am a consumer. If I don't like something, I, I don't have to subscribe to fucking Game Pass. If I don't want to, I don't have to. But I do. I enjoyed it. I like it. It's my money. It's my fucking business. Stop grifting over this type of fucking nonsense. Talking about, yo, man, PlayStation, man, they're, they're there. They're there to help. They lie, too. They don't give a fuck about me either. All they care about is making money. And putting out games. What games are they putting out for me? They ain't putting out for me to fucking play. I tell you that fucking much. I'm telling you, bro. Stop believing and watching these fucking grifters on these fucking YouTube channel. Be very careful. Stop watching these people. These people are no good for you. I suggest go, you know, go read the Bible. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. That's who you should be believing. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus Christ. Read the Bible. That's something you should be doing. This type of bullshit. Believing in a corporation. Believing in Jim Ryan. Believing in fucking this. Stop listening to them. You should be stop believing. You shouldn't even believe in them. You should believe in who? Jesus fucking Christ. God himself. Got the fucking tattoo of the rosary bead on his fucking shoulders. They say, come here, you guys. Believe in me, bro. Believe in me. I got a cross in my arms and I'm looking dead ass at you at the fucking bathroom of my laundry room. At the fucking mirror looking goofy. Believe in me. Believe in me. You're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart. You're believing in this fucking man? In this garbage? Stop it. Stop it. You need some help. That's why I don't fucking believe in this man. I don't believe in his garbage. He is nothing but a grifter. Nothing but a grifter. He's no different from Dreamcast guy. I promise you. He's no different than him. Like again, my best advice is enjoy gaming. Enjoy the games. You got an Xbox console, you're getting games. There's plenty of games on the way. Enjoy them. I at least point out three to four fucking games on there. Five games that I'm definitely going to be playing. A Valve getting one delay. So what? It's getting delayed. Backlog, I don't give a fuck whatever the reason is. Who cares? Anybody can make up some bullshit. A valve is getting delayed. End of story. Move the fuck on. And just enjoy your games. Play your games. Whatever you want to do, do it. You don't if you don't like Game Pass, unsubscribe. Nobody ain't putting a gun to your head. But this type of grifting right here, trying to get people all angry and mad and all this bullshit and not even backing up any of his bullshit claims. Saying, hey, Xbox is putting out games. No, wait, sorry, not Xbox. PlayStation is put dropping all these games. PlayStation has got some good multiplayer. PlayStation doing this. PlayStation... He hasn't brought up anything what PlayStation is fucking doing other than they ain't doing shit right now. They're not doing shit right now. If they was doing some shit, I'll say, damn, bro, they're doing some shit right now, bro. They're putting out this game. They got this game in the works. I'm excited for this. You don't hear me or talking about it. Right, there's a few games on the PlayStation side that I can give respect to, and some that I said, damn, yo, I wish this game came back. This one has potential. I wish this game was still around. This one could have been really great for Sony. Or, or even PlayStation as the brand. But unfortunately speaking, it's not happening. It's not happening. But that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. Right? Gamer Life Studio. I will be posting up some more videos and stuff like that. I will have off the top on top of it as well. Might be, you know, expanding a little bit. Um, I will be doing some other things too. 
I'm thinking about, you know, again, I got some other videos on the way, more gaming guide videos. I am doing also a PC guide video for like people that wants to jump into PC gaming and stuff like that, learning about software, the hardware side of things, um, doing some tutorial videos, giving you some stuff to really help you guys out. So that's what I'm going to be planning on doing. And there's some other stuff on the way, but it has to take some time and some patience. So be patient, enjoy. I will be posting up some more Let's Play videos of Starfield and some other games will be on the way too. I am might be starting a new one called, you know, Gamer Talk, where we just talk about some games that's announced and stuff like that. Like, I really want to talk about that mafia, the old country. I'm going to be talking about that, which we should be talking about. Instead of console warring and doing all this fucking garbage nonsense, we should be focusing on what? talking about some games some real games that actually players that should be excited for that you can't wait for i'm going to be planning on starting to do that as well so but once again if you do enjoy make sure you like share comment subscribe don't forget and um i'll catch you guys on the next one hopefully you enjoyed this salt video i'll see you later peace